What's going on, guys? This episode is brought to you by Manscaped and the Lawnmower 4.0 package. If you use code RBP at checkout, you get 20% off and free shipping. Go to manscaped.com backslash RBP to get the 4.0 package. I'm going to show you exactly what's in it. The 4.0 package is the ball toner and ball deodorant to make sure your junk smells good for your significant other. Get the nose trimmer to make sure you got no hairs and stragglers hanging about. And you get the 4.0 trimmer to make sure your junk is clean. I've had no cuts and no issues with this. And actually, it's pretty cool. I've been using it for my arms and legs as well. So it's a really good trimmer that way. Uh, you also get this really cool leather carrying bag and you get a pair of boxer briefs that are very comfortable. Uh, also new, Manscaped has come out with a body wash. This stuff smells really good. Uh, it's probably better than the crappy soap that you're using. So check out manscaped.com backslash RBP or use code RBP at checkout and get 20% off and free shipping. Thanks, guys. All right. What's going on? Sure. What's with this military cut you got going on? I don't know, man. You like it? <laughs> it I'm growing too- my hair out again. It looks a little military-ish. Well, yeah, it's that I'm going to let it grow long again. I'm going to start spiking it soon. Let me see the side. Oh, you got a line there. So maybe it makes it's a little less military. Yeah. I got a par. But why do you want to grow it? What you can't make up your mind. It's like you shave it and you grow it. Well, some, some, you know, but if I grow, when I let it grow long yeah. and I don't want to spike it, it looks like retarded. So yeah. I'm like, ah, I'm going to shave it off. So then I shave it off and then I'm like, mm. I want to throw it out again. <laughs> you, can't, you can't make up your mind. No. All right. Listen, I'm I'm out of music, man. My music is old. What do you like? Workout music? Yeah. I feel like my music is getting stale. You need some uh, some evanescence in your life. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Wait. 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 I got an idea. I was thinking about this today, and I thought. The guys will be able to help me with this, and it'll help everybody who watches the podcast. Okay. Hey, Ian, what's up? What's up? The beard, the beard's looking extra long. I'm growing. It's good coming in, eh? Yeah, it's looking looking thick. The beard is epic. But you got to let the mustache get thicker. You look a little Amish. I know. I need to get it back more. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, look at how much gray I'm getting there. Oh, fuck. You do got gray. Luckily for you, you're blonde hair, though, so it kind of like hides it a bit. I mean, Why do you have grays? He's well, 30, a lot. He's 31 now. I got right? a lot in the top too, but luckily my hair up here is lighter, so it's not too bad. You're 31. Why do you have grays? I don't know, man. I turned 30 and it like legit just like started going gray immediately. Yep. I started getting him at 31, 32. Yeah. 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 I hope that doesn't happen to me. And it's like it's going like exponential now. Like day to day, it's like five percent more every single day, you know. Nick, <laughs> everything that you've seen happen to me and guy is gonna happen to you. Yeah. Well, I just hope at like a slower rate. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like, like I don't 50. want to hit thirty and start having grays. Well, you can barely see them though. They're like, you know, they're fucking. He's got to like. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even notice if he didn't point it out. Yeah, I also. Yeah, but he, but right he now. notices, you know. Yeah, I don't mind them though. It's I, feel, I feel like it makes me look more trustworthy, you know. <laughs> 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 like a little more distinguished. Like I might know my shit yeah, a little more. You know? That's what I was thinking. Is distinguished. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ian, I was just telling um, I was just telling Nick that I am out of music and I'm bored of my fuck. You ever get bored of your music? Like you put your iPhone on shuffle and it just plays the same fucking songs every time? Yeah, but I, li- I literally I, I literally never listen to music. Really? Oh, we well, talked I about this. Always, I always train with a partner, so I never wear headphones. And then other than that, I don't listen to music, you know? So when you and a partner train together, you talk? Uh, like between sets? I don't know, like at all. Do you like because me and Paul train together, but we never talk. No, I mean not a ton. Like there's not like full on conversations, but I mean there might be like a little bit of here and there. But I mean, yeah, no, we don't. We're not silent the whole workout for sure. No. Like me and Paul will like. We would never put in our headphones and train. No. Really? Never. I've never done that with a training partner in my life. Me neither. Do you think it's rude? Well, no. Kinda. Paul does the same thing, so you guys are obviously on the same wavelength. <laughs> Nick, but Nick, like, if you came and trained with me, <laughs> and you just put your headphones in and train with me, I'd be like the fuck take your fucking no, head that would be yeah that would be rude yeah yeah but if that's like the understanding you have then no it's not rude at all 
<laughs> but if me and you train together for like a year, I would eventually start wearing my headphones. Yeah, I don't know. I've I've never done that. Like I I like being able to hear my partner's like cues and and motivations. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, well, okay. Let me re- let me just rephrase for one second. At my gym, because I can put on whatever music I want, I don't wear headphones. Yeah. But if I'm training at like a commercial gym and the music sucks, yeah. I wear head I wear headphones. Yeah. No, I, I, prefer, I don't care. I prefer not to wear headphones, but like obviously having the good music matters. I mean, like when I train, you know, back home at at Save On, like when I would train with Mark and Mark worked at the gym, he could put on whatever when we would train. It was obviously it was it was better. Yeah. But like not having music or bad music doesn't like detract from me. It just adds to have better. No, music. yeah. Like yeah. when I was full blown fucking training, it wouldn't like ruin my workout, but I but I prefer to have it rather than not. Yeah, it's nice to have it for sure. Yeah. So Nick, what if you train for somebody for a little while? Do you eventually like start wearing headphones or are you always no matter what how long the training partner's been there you don't wear <coughs> it depends on who i'm training with yeah okay it's a really like, first person thing because if you have a training partner that's like when you're in your set and they're like fucking yelling at you the whole time yeah i I'd rather hear that than music yeah i yeah, think yeah. i probably actually trained with melissa and we've both worn headphones but that would be about it yeah i don't feel like i need the exterior motivation like you know it's someone and usually my headphones are turned down a bit so i can like hear them yelling at me anyway (laughs) so yeah i I like being able to hear them or like you know hear like if i say something they like you know i don't feel like i'm like yelling over it i like to be able to like be aware you know yeah Yeah. i think it it comes down to the situation because like i said me and paul have been training together for 20 fucking years yeah so it's like we don't need to i can almost tell what tell what he wants me to do from his mannerisms let alone like like actually hearing him yeah you yeah, have a very unique vibe of like training circumstance right yeah now. you just so you don't listen to music any other times like driving in the car like yeah but i mean usually if i'm driving somewhere i'm driving with melissa and i listen to her stuff or we listen to a podcast or like you know really <laughs> most of the time you... when we drive we listen to true crime pod- podcast you ever listen to that shit no oh it's the best man the best thing to listen to what's that one who's this uh, uh, who's there's podcast? babe What's the name of the two crime podcasts we listen to? Uh, crime, but crime junkies both the best. Tr- true crime and crime junkie. What is what is who's who's the host? Anybody like important? No, it's just like um, it's girls. Yeah, that <laughs> it's just some girls, but like the stories are good. Like it, like you get into them, they'll be like you know forty five to an hour for some of them. They'll be about murders or like so a missing person or something, and they lay out the story. It's, it gets you hooked for sure. Really? And for drives, it's like the best thing ever because you get into it and you're like, you have to know. So then the drive goes by so fast. <laughs> yeah, but where are you driving that you have time for a whole podcast? Or you just listen to half and then get to the gym and then? Oh no, I wouldn't listen to it at the gym. I mean, right here we live. Like I literally live, not even exaggerating, three hundred yards from the gym. You so know? when like it's that close. Yeah. Sorry, before I ask you, hi guy, how are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we'll get we'll get back to the guy in a second. When do you yeah, no, like like if we were like you know say going out for dinner like the, like the other day we went out I saw Nick out there we went out to dinner in in Jupiter which is like thirty minute drive you might listen uh, to half on the way there half on the way back. yeah or like when we went to you know Orlando or go to Miami or you know go to like something for you know an expo or go yeah, like yeah. You know, train for a day whatever they're good to listen for that kind of shit uh, <laughs> we okay, maybe like just West Palm to to shop for the day you know actually this brings that a pause me. COVID cough you just fucking threw a threat us mid sentence. Is that a COVID cough? No, I just, I've had this, I get this cough sometimes in the winter. It's just annoying little. You sound tickle. sick guy. Are you sick guy? <laughs> what? Are you sick? Are you sick? No. Not anymore. I was. Again? I got the, the, the whatever shit. Omicron? Omicron? Yeah. Omicron. You got the Omicron? Optimus yeah, Prime? last week. The Omarion. Omarion. <laughs> Ask me if I stayed home one day. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Sorry, you human that shit around you asshole. Because you know what? Somebody gave it to me. So I was I live by myself. So I was like, somebody gave it to me. Too bad. I'm going to the gym. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> um was I gonna, okay. So I have a scenario. So Paul was telling me that he so you were saying you listen to podcasts like one bit at a time or whatever. You don't always finish it. That's no, no. that's understandable. But Paul was telling me if he's watching, like, say he was watching Game of Thrones, he'll start an episode and watch 10 minutes of it before bed and go to bed. He's a serial killer, right? That's, weird. that's, that's I, weird. I'm like, I'm like, dude. I have to at least the episode. finish the episode. Yes, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's like standard fucking protocol for watching anything. Okay, because we're having this debate, and he's like, 
Well, it's like reading a book. Like when you read a book, you read like two pages. I'm like, no, I don't. I usually finish the chapter. Yes. And then I go to bed. Is, is or, or at least like the full page. Yeah. So like you don't have, so you don't forget where you go. Is he, is he watching this TV in bed or is he watching it and then going to bed? Both. If you're like, watching he's a new watching episode, it. Order, if right. you're watching a new episode before bed and it's like a series like that, you're an idiot to begin with. Yeah, it's oh, not you something, you, the, it's not something you fall asleep to, regardless. Yeah, no, if you're but, doing it in bed and like it's like the TV on the wall and you fall asleep within 10 minutes and then you wake up, shut the TV off, that's like reading. But if it's like it's in your living room, you watch 10 minutes and then be like, okay, I'm going to bed. That's, yeah, kind of, that's crazy. Yeah, but if I know I'm going to fall asleep in 10 minutes, I don't put a new episode of Game of Thrones on anyway. Yes, the I'll TV watch, like, in your room is for reruns only. Yeah, reruns. Exactly. Reruns. Yeah. My TV in my fucking room. If I go, if I put it on at night, I put it on and I go to what's saved and I'll watch reruns of like everybody yeah, loves yeah. Raymond, fucking yeah. Chicago PD, whatever's on there. You can't be into if you're too into yes. it. You, anyway. you can't start something new prior to 10 minutes. Okay. Long I, I just, because sometimes, so sometimes, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I gotta have Paul back on so he can defend himself, but I just had to ask you guys because no, sometimes he's not he, allowed made, on now. he makes, <laughs> he makes me feel like I'm crazy. So I'm like, I gotta ask somebody else. Okay, so that's one. Okay, number two. Okay, if you go buy a coffee, do you change the coffee every time, or is no? There like, like when I go get a coffee, I get an americano with three splenda. I don't go yeah. in the morning get americano with three splenda, and then go in the afternoon and get like a fucking americano with one. No, if I go in the afternoon and get sweeteners. something, I'll get like like an iced tea, like something completely different. No, no, no. I'm not saying if you change the drink. I'm saying if you get a coffee in the morning. My coffee you- order has stayed the same 10 years in a row. <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm saying. I think most people have a consistent coffee order. You know? like, right, I don't right. even have to tell them. If, if Sometimes I'm standing there and forget to order it. And they're like, guys, you order it? I'm like, fuck, no. And they're like, all right, we'll make it. Just order it. Because they know my order. Because I've been ordering it constantly for so yeah. long. Okay. So I go for a road trip with Paul. We, oh, grab a cof- we grab a coffee in the morning when we leave Windsor to go to Toronto. What, what did he get? He got a coffee with two cream and two sugar. I knew you would remember. That's why. Yeah. I- <laughs> <laughs> That's the old fucking Canadian double double, eh? Yeah, like- yeah, like double double. For- so anyway, so we is that what it- you guys call it? At Tim, Hor- at Tim Hortons, a double double. Yeah, yeah. Is two that what? Because I have a Tim Hortons by me. I've never been to. Is that what they call it? Yeah, a double double. If yeah. you went to Tim Hortons and got a double double, they'd know exactly what you're asking for. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Weird. Anyway, we go to Toronto. We get there on the way there. We're having a coffee on the way back. So I stop. I grab a coffee. I go. What do you want? He goes, I'll have a coffee, one cream, two sweetener. I'm like, your coffee this morning had two cream, two sugar. He's like, yeah. He's like, I don't want the sugar now. He's like, I'm okay. I'm just going to have the sweetener. I'm like, what the fuck? What the, that's fucking weird. That's what? weird. That's he weird. Said, Wait, so he actually considers his caloric intake based on his <laughs> coffee intake? Yes. That's yeah. stupid. He said to me once, he's like, He's like, you know, post workout, I'll have like a couple sugars because I need the I need the sugar for after my work. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? Ooh, that post workout coffee. Cup. I would yeah. love to meet Paul's parents. Like, who? Paul's. That he's fu- okay. Okay. So that's okay. So you guys all think that's fucked, right? Yes. That's weird. Yeah. So, so far, okay. he's over three. <laughs> so far, over two. Yeah. This yeah, is the two. This is the third one. This <laughs> we've had. No, no, we have a running debate about this. I keep forgetting that. You keep notes in your phone on this? No, no, I just, they're all coming, they're flooding back to me right now. (laughs) So I have one more. I just, we we have a constant debate about it. If you got to turn, like after the summer, if you got to turn the heat on, do you say, I got to turn the furnace on or I got to turn the heat on? I got to turn the heat on. Turn the heat on. Right, right. He says furnace? Yeah, (laughs) he's got to turn the furnace on. I mean, that's not that weird. It's not as weird as the other two, but it's not common, I think. I it's think a lot of people watching this on. would say that, though. Hey, I got to go. Hold on. I got to go turn the furnace on. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say furnace. What are we in the eight? What are we? Is this like, like 1940? I don't you know, turn on the furnace. Get the oil. Hey, hey, get the oil hey, out and light the hey, furnace. Get the oil, Jay. Turn the furnace on. Hey, no, I, the I furnace. think that's not as uncommon, but no, I would say I got to go turn the that's heat pretty up. Uncommon. It's still on the spectrum of uncommon to common. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Paul, if you're watching, I apologize for airing your shit, but I had, to some, three, bud. I had to get some feedback. Okay, last one, and this isn't Paul. This is just out wow. of curiosity. No, this oh, isn't okay. Paul. This is out of curiosity. Oh. If you have to turn, if you want the, the room to be cooler, do you say turn the air condition up or do you turn the air conditioning down? I would turn it up. Wait, right. what? If you want the room you're in to be cooler, do you tell someone to turn the air conditioning up or turn the air conditioning down? Is the air conditioning already on? Yes. Oh, I don't. I, don't, I forget what I say. <laughs> Hold on, stop, everybody, stop. Because I've said both. I have to think how I would say it. 
I would say turn the temperature down or turn the air conditioning up. I would say turn the air up. Nobody says turn the temperature down. You're no, I would say, say turn the AC up. You're right. I would. Yeah, I'm right. Say turn the turn the air up. Turn the air yeah. up or turn the AC up. One of those. Yeah, two. You're increasing its power. You're turning it up. Yeah. yeah, I want. Give me that cold shit. Yeah, but if you're looking at a at a dial on the wall, you're actually turning no, the think temperature this, down. Think, think it on the yes, other yes, way yes. though. You're right, but we don't wait, say wait, it. Wait, like wait, that. That's how. This, yeah, this, yeah, proves this, this proves this proves the point though. If you were in a room with air conditioning on, yeah, and you wanted it to be warmer, you would say, "Can you turn the AC down?" Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't say turn it up, You'd but turn that it. still doesn't make sense because the, you would you would go to the wall and you would see the temperature gauge and you would turn the temperature you up. Would, you you would yes, say turn well. the AC down, but you'd be turning the temperature up. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. But Who's that? Hello? Hello? Hey. No, it's the same. You're saying the same thing in reverse, Ian. I know, but I'm saying yeah. it makes sense both ways, so that's why it's more it, realistic. But it doesn't technically. It actually doesn't make sense because you're turning the temperature up. Yes, I get that, but the phrase makes more sense. The phrase makes more sense. Yes. Yes. Okay. I've always I've always struggled with that one because I'm like, <laughs> Nick's doing you're, well, you're, you're, you're not talking about the equation. Because you're not talking about the temperature. Yo, you're not talking about the temperature, right? You're not saying turn the temperature up or down. You're saying turn the AC up or down, which is its power. But that's not power. actually what that, that's not actually that's what, not you're what saying, it means though. though. Because it's on the, the on the on the wall, you're not turning the fan speed up. You're turning the no, temperature but like, down. You know what I mean? Well, no, up. actually, if you go into a hotel, they have fan speed up and AC um, the up and down. Yeah, so you yeah. But in a normal, in a normal, up. in a normal home on a panel. Well, they have fan on off auto. Yeah, it's usually on auto, and then you're turning yeah. the temperature up or down. Down, yeah, yeah. And you turn the temperature yeah. down. But I would say, can you turn the AC on or turn the AC up? Yeah. Turn the fucking air up is what I say. Listen, or if I'm you're in the <laughs> car, if you're in the car too, and you're hot in the car, you'd be like, yo, can you turn the air conditioning up? Yeah. Yeah, put that air on. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying I don't say that. I'm just saying it technically doesn't make no, sense. I mean, sometimes yeah. I might say, if, if mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> nah, man, put the air up. That's what you say, guy. Put the air up. Oh, he gets his first fucking dog, and he's already got a mug. This guy's already fucking tattooing himself. I went to the pet dog. store. It's my, actually, it's, it's, my third my dog. Dog. it's my third <laughs> dog, you idiot. But I actually, yeah, I went to the pet store, and I was like, hey, I like that. That's cute. <laughs> This dog's got me turned around, man. I don't know what the fuck he did to me, but like, they're the fucking best things. Somebody, ever. okay. Uh, by the way, I had multiple messages today. About Please do not send me or ask me. People keep sending me this guy that fucking beat the shit out of a dog in Texas. I can't. I do not watch those things. I will not repost it. I don't have the stomach. Why for are they it. sending it to you? What do they expect you to do? Because they want it. me to like. They're like, can you please post about this guy? Because I guess this guy like just he. They, I guess he got arrested. He was like dog training this fucking German shepherd and like the dog wouldn't let go of the arm, but he was dog training. He fucking just wound up and just fucking, and the yeah, dog but, so, yelled, but, but if he's already rested, what are you going to do? About I, it? I heard it. now he is, but this was the other day. I was getting okay. flooded with these messages and I'm like, dude, you guys got to stop sending me this stuff. I, I can't watch yeah. this. Shit. Yeah. Like, don't no. Me. no, it's crazy. Can I, uh, it's really weird. So, you know, how we talk about being selfish and bodybuilding. So when we had our last dog, you know how you get in like, this is going to sound really stupid. You know how you get like really stupid about, I used to get really stupid about my cardio. You know, yeah, guy used to tell me like, walking. you know, guy used to tell me like, go walk outside. And I'm like, no, I got to go to the gym and do my cardio yeah. at the gym. Yeah. And I'm like, and now thinking back, I'm like, I fucking took that dog for granted because I could have been walking him every morning. Yeah. And now that I'm not bodybuilding full time and I feel like I could have just more freedom to do whatever I want. Now I take my dog for a walk every morning or I take him to the park or something. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. And that's fucking fun too, you know? I think I missed out with the last dog and I think yeah. I'm almost like making up for it. So I kind of feel, I almost like feel guilt for the last dog. I don't know if that makes any sense. Yeah. Cause we had him for like, you know, he was 17 years old when he passed and I don't think I did enough with him when we had him. Like we treated yeah. him good. Like we used to make his food and like hand feed him. And like Dude, the fact that he had a home, he was a good No, no. Boy. Like we, like, yeah. listen, we, we literally used to the last three years of his life, <clears throat> we had to cook all his food from scratch. Like we wouldn't buy kibble or he couldn't eat any of that. So like we took good care of him. I just mean like the extra stuff, like taking him to the yeah. park and playing catch with him and shit like that. You like that chuck it so, thing, huh? Dude, the yeah, chuck it thing is amazing. Oh, that's, that's what I, I use. Yeah. I'd come home after the park, my shoulder would be all fucked up. I get this yeah, chuck yeah. it thing. It's like I launched the ball like 60 and you don't fucking have, yards. And you don't have to touch it either. It's like covered in fucking slobber. You just fucking right. well, Why do you post it? I couldn't even see where the ball went. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and that's, and Paul bought me a, Paul bought me one that's the big, like the big rig, twice the size of it. Yeah, I'm like yeah. I, I don't think my dog. Like I was like hundred yards. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> so, um, did, did you guys hear the uh, crazy news? No. Singerman's arraignment was today. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Does anybody know anything about this? I, I just know what the sentences was. Somebody sent me an article uh, from the Boca News or something he like got that. I thought the thing about yeah, he crashed a boat again or something there. No, he, he crashed, crashed a boat car on and then meals. now it was a car it was on a sleeping pills. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So now they're saying like a decade in jail. Yeah, I think the maximum sentence is thirteen years. Thirteen. Maximum. But it's because of a culmination of everything, right? It's not just from the car accident. It was going to be, I think, five, and then he would have got out with like good everything on three, but because he got the BUI. And then now the uh, DUI, yeah. that just fucking added to his whole fucking shalua shit. Yeah. Is anybody, does it feel like nobody else is talking about this? Like, I don't know, should I not be talking about this? Like, I feel like I it's... I don't know. I mean, I've the, seen it all over the place. It's the... Uh, like, I'm not, yeah, it's, and everywhere. Yeah. Really? Because I haven't... I've seen a couple things here and there, but I, I feel like nobody's actually... I think, I think at this point, he's so fucking, like... He's so, like, out of control. I don't think anybody's, like shocked or like i think you also have to remember that singerman isn't like a, p- a popular pro bodybuilder he's a company owner so it's different that the, the average person will not know about singerman like yeah, singerman can go no, away i know but and no no but that's athlete. not the but that's not the part i expect people to know about i mean the the first charge is insane like make now but that i'm the, the supplement was the first charge the first charge appreciate. is the supplements like a, yeah. putting stuff in your supplements is not legal yeah, mislabeling. Like mislabeling. Mis- like mislabeling. You're like that. Now that I own a supplement company, I'm like, that's insane. Yeah. yeah. Like, you can't. Th- that could do a lot of harm to a lot of different people, man. People have allergies. People have fucking issues. Like, yeah. you can't. You can't mislabel products. Just put whatever you want in them. No. Yeah, that's crazy. So that was the first charge, and then, I mean, the other ones that happens every day. People have bad luck with certain things. You know, driving drunk or whatever. Like, you know, I'm not saying it's okay, but like. You know, it's it's less, yeah, it's l- more common. <laughs> to me, it, I don't know if that sounds right that it's less serious than the the late mislabeling. No, I think it can be more serious because obviously the potential for damage you could hurt somebody pretty. Yeah, you could you kill, could kill somebody else driving yeah. a drunk boating, but obviously yeah. he was lucky that that did not happen. Um, you know, where the other one is put, like in the same boat of you know p- putting potentially lots of more people's lives in danger. You know, I think his son was on the boat the first time. Yeah, was he really? Yeah. I think he got. I think he got endangering the welfare of a minor too. Right? Was the boat crash bad? Yeah. I don't. I didn't really hear. It doesn't, bro. Crash, when you cra- crash, you know, when you're on a boat, you're not. You can't be buckled in because you have. You, you also can't. You have safety vests on a boat. You That's know? why you have safety vests. So if if you crash on a boat, it's it. Somebody can easily go overboard. No, I, I know mean, that. I just. You know. Does anybody know about the boat crash? Like how bad was it? I just know that he ran into a couple docks. Wow, man. A couple docks are big. Yeah. 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 Does anybody know how bad the car crash was? I don't. No way. So, I just, I'm, I'm just shocked that, you know, Redcon is, I, you know, I'm, I want to say the biggest company in industry, if not the biggest, yeah. like one of the top five biggest. Mm-hmm. So it's crazy that the, you know, the founder is going yeah. to jail for fucking, you know, 10 years, if probably less with good behavior. I don't know, but that's a long yeah, I mean, time. Yeah, I'd be surprised if you served more than five or six, but I mean, either way, that's serious jail time. You got that's kids. That's a long so. time, man. Yeah. yeah. Like people say it like it's nothing, but I couldn't. I couldn't do five weeks in jail, man. Oh, that's a lot. Five hours. <laughs> I could do five hours, guy. You want to bet? Yeah. We'll, done, put, we'll put food out in one of those like episodes of like. I've done five alone? hours. I've done five do, hours. You want to do that movie alone, and we all go into jail cells and see who could last the longest in jail? No, I want to. I want to see Fuad do an episode of like Scared Straight, you know, where they take like the bad kids and put them in jail. The people like, yeah, fuck you, you fucking punk, you want to end up here? <laughs> like, just you're like, ah. Wait a minute, seriously. What'd you, if, what'd you do five hours for? Uh, uh being drunk and assault. Um, I think you told us. I did tell you. Anyway, uh, if they put all four of us in jail, I would last. Nick's butthole is going to be stretched. <laughs> bro i'm running tr- i'm fucking running the show in jail are you crazy you guys are fucked you guys are gonna starve to death no we'll be good I'll ian, just and, ian and nick I'll are gonna some motherfucker into giving me his lunch every day damn right no i mean in, in, in individual cells in like isolation i don't mean like in population oh yeah i mean yeah then we're fucked nick 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 would last forever he'd be like this for fucking years <laughs> <laughs> He'd kill the first five hours like this. 
the head dick. Oh fuck. <laughs> anyway, well, I hope the best for Aaron. I mean, that's, they get to the jail point. That sucks. If they put us all in the jail, where, where are you going? That's what I'm saying. Who would last the longest if they put us in isolation? <sighs> I want to go with that guy. Was it. Yeah, I think guy. I don't think guy. I think I would go crazy. Guy needs love. Guy, guy needs lots of love. First of all, you know what? Let me tell you. Something. Let me tell you something. First of all, you know what? Let me tell you a little secret you know about what? your host. You know he's what? A fu- he's he's a shady fuck. What? <laughs> what? He's shady. I'm going to tell you, you something. How do you he's figure? a liar. He I'm a liar. Fucking, okay. Yeah. He what? can't say I love you yeah. back. Can't say I love you back. I did say but I love he, you back twice. But he said, but he texted me, I miss, I miss you today. Yeah. So what? That's not. Well, how am I a liar? Because you can't say I love you back. But you I said I love you back twice. <laughs> After you admitted yeah. to it, made it awkward the second time. Well, I, 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 I love you. I, uh, uh, you too. No, Fred then, never told me he misses me. That's not true. Love you, Nick. I've told Thank you I missed you me. when you were off at the Olympia and you were coming on the podcast. Yeah, me? but you haven't said it recently. Well, okay, I see you more often now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, he comes to Jersey and I don't see him. Weird. Yeah, Nick. You went yeah, all the way. You were in Guy's backyard. You didn't even go visit. Guy no, I wasn't. I was like two hours away. <sighs> Better than hey, a fucking plane ride. I got to talk to you guys uh, more offline about this, but just briefly, are you guys available mid 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 June? Mid June. Actually, I think it's mid July. Bro, yeah, how the fuck the do I suppose that shit six months from now? Well, you <laughs> yeah, usually right. have an idea of what shows you're gonna do, like. Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing a show at that date, so yes, I should. So not I'm that. Sure. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> Are I you know the show I'm doing is not in July. So after that, I don't know. Yes. Okay. So you're Nick, available. You have so many different looks. What? Nick, he, he, his hair changes a lot. His beard I said that to him when he came on. I, I like, just noticed this. Yeah. I you said, just got you know, a haircut. Like, would I you told, stick to one fucking caricature, please? I told him. I said, you look like you're going to the army. Yeah. What are you doing? What, what, I what, just what, got what, a haircut. You know what? Nick's you, hair. You, beard, have, like, you have like the Jay Cutler thing. Know what I picture with Nick's how often they change? I picture him being like a chia pet. Like that yeah. one day he wants a different haircut. He just goes like, and it squeezes out and then he cuts it to how he wants, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, can change it at any time. I know, we, we, we get you have nice hair. You don't have to fucking change it every goddamn week, bro, to show off. Well, I know, I see, how fast he grows, see how fast he grows it, guy? I, I mean, gotta get a haircut almost like twice a week, I feel. Are you fucking serious? You don't yeah. run that it grows I, so fast. With yeah. 30 IUs of growth, it would. <laughs> True. I don't even True. know what growth is. It's natural. <laughs> nah. Listen, June, mid June. Yeah, what are we doing? We're fucking. Where are we going? I'm trying guys to house? plan a guy's house. We're all going to be at guy's house because I'm trying to plan a Aries Nutrition. Oh, New, really? Jer- so- New Jersey. Oh, we're going to Jersey. New Jersey Bro Chat Auditorium uh, date. Oh, cool. in Jersey, count me in. Chad. So we're going to do a live live Bro Chat in an auditorium and we'll do a meet and greet the day before at Aries nutrition. And I'll only Sick. charge you guys a thousand bucks to stay the week. I'm staying here. I'm not going to stay. I'm not paying you a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll show you how to chop wood that weekend. If you could chop wood better than me, I'll give you a reach around. I'm just, I don't, want, I'll I don't, I don't want to reach around. That's not fucking help me. You got a nice calloused hand. You gotta, you gotta give me something if I can chop wood better than you. I've never chopped wood before. I'll give you the fucking action chop the wood away, and you can fucking pawn it off as one of your trophies. <laughs> <laughs> give him one of the RBP awards. You know? RBP yeah. ch- chopped wood. So many people be like, can hey, I get that? Those awards are gonna be awesome. I got them fucking worked out today. They're on the way. Which would you get? Uh, you'll get it when you get it. It's a surprise. It's can not I the. It's not the hel- It's not the helmet. It's so if you of- win two categories, do you get two of them? Yeah. I wanted to like have sex. Arnold and complain I wanted to have sex with that helmet on. <laughs> Nick, Nick's, Nick's going to get, what are you, would you win four categories? Yeah. You're going to have a whole fucking uh, arsenal. That's why I asked. I'm like, Nick's going to have a whole fucking. Is it, was it, the, was, would you get the sword or whatever? Yeah. I want the swords. Oh, hey, Fuad. What? I'm just going to hold them both like this while I'm stroking a female. <laughs> and I'll take a video. I was like, hey. What are you, you, you going to say? What are you going to say, guy? So I had one of my buddies here today and I was showing him my, the, the room with all the pictures. Yeah. And he's like, man, you hung. I was like, yeah, but you hang them. I go there. They just stick to the wall. I said, you can move them in all different fucking wherever. Yeah. yeah. He was like, really? I, yeah. I said, yeah, I pulled one off the wall. It doesn't wall come off. With it. No wall way. With it. Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Well, it pulled the paint right off. I was so like, these are things that are supposed to stick to the wall and not ruin your paint. 
Oh, they, oh they, he they bought the remember the mixed mixed tiles uh app he was telling us the guy was telling us about where you download the photos onto there and they send you the they send you look like this where i have one. Oh here. yeah 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 i remember yeah they're great this thing they send you yeah. uh <laughs> that should be a box of one so they send you like a picture like that okay i get that but then what what's so like you stick that? it to the wall and you're supposed to be able to move them wherever you want yeah on the back yeah uh, and i fucking pull on the one back off? there's a thing you just peel it off and stick it on the oh. wall yeah <laughs> and it, 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 i guess it's, it's hard to it, get off it's stuck all right yeah you know you, you what, what you do if you want to move them take a uh a hair dryer yeah and heat it first and then pull it peel off peel it off yeah yeah i didn't think about that because i didn't think it was going to pull half my wall off but guy how much music do you listen to Ian doesn't listen uh, to music. A lot. A lot? Love music. Yeah. Nick, how much music do you listen to? I listen to music all day. I listen to a lot of the same, like, same genre of music. I'm not, I don't really diversify. Okay, well, myself. even if you don't listen to music, Ian, I'm sure you have good taste in music that you do listen to. So I want to go around in a circle a couple of times and get some new music. So we're going to help people create a playlist because I want my own playlist. What do you, what do you like? For the gym or like general? Or rap or like? Yeah. No, I'm or talking what? about like for the gym, for training music. Yeah. So I just, everybody will go once. So we'll just go around. Okay. Okay. No, don't pull out your phone. I want to do it without your phone. See if we can get off the top of your head. You got to go. To yeah, nope. but I, I might. Okay. Nick, you go first. Tommy Prophet, storm is coming. Tommy Prophet. Can you yeah. send me these there when you're done? I'll, I'll send it to you. Yeah. I can't text my fucking thumb with my band. By listen, the way, these band, these band days. This such out of date music, man. I haven't listened to like new music since 2008. Does it know, matter? Does it matter? Wait, can I see your thumb? <laughs> Your face? No. Yeah, what's wrong with your thumb? Bro? Show me your thumb. Is that a? Is that a? Why is your band? Why is your band Dade Brown? <laughs> did you buy the wrong? Band. Did you buy the wrong race of Band Aid? Yeah, these are the, these are not the white. Those ones. are for black people, man. Why'd you buy? What the fuck is that? You? Why did you buy that color? <laughs> you guys notice? I'm using my thumb every time you talk. <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> I, I just grabbed band-aids and I got home and I was like they make different color band-aids yeah for darker skinned people like I, me I, so I, I swear to god never knew it yeah man it's like because I gotta I gotta wear like no because Ian said he didn't know it either I know but like what but it's normal that they would right like I gotta wear a white fucking band-aid on my I brown skin it makes sense but I never knew that because I never I never went shopping for like white people band-aids I was I wasn't showing like, your oh, cuz that's cuz you're skin. that's cuz you're showing your white privilege Don't <laughs> There we go <laughs> oh, Wait what what when you go Wait hold on Ian's, wait Ian I'm said joking. he just fucking knew about it last year I'm fucking joking I just relax Wait what when you go out and buy band-aids do you just buy the regular color band-aids or do you look yeah. for darker band-aids I purposely look for the brown band-aids I want to feel have, Okay have you always I, done that no. <laughs> Never. I've never. I think I bought a, a box of band aids like ten years ago. I saw the same one. I mean, like you're like you're like the same color as like a fabric elastoplast band aid. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not. That's yeah, like a, no, no, not really. It's like yeah. <laughs> you're like that tan elastoplast. The tan elastic. Yeah. <laughs> Those Listen, band aids. I, I don't give a shit. I think those some are good band aids too. Always get the fabric band aids. That's the good shit. That's the what only, I got. These ones suck. The only oh, yeah, people bring it dead your fucking finger. The only huh? people I can see caring is like women, maybe who are like I don't know, maybe they would, they have to put a band aid somewhere where it shows. I can't. And you see know what I said first? I was like, wow, I didn't know they made band aid for like like <laughs> like like because like, I never thought about it. Yeah, I just thought a band. I thought a band aid was just that color because that's just the fucking color the fabric was. The color, the yeah, whatever they make it out of. Yeah. I, I didn't think it was made. For I, I understand though, like someone having it's like as a vast contrast on their skin, wanting something that matches better. Oh, I, 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 I get yeah. it, but I never fucking. I, yeah, I, I didn't know. Like I said to you, I'm like, I didn't know this existed until last yeah. year. Someone posted about. It. Yeah. All right. So Tommy Prophet Storm is coming, guy. Or actually, we'll just go around the horn. Ian, you're next. I mean, I'm gonna say songs that you already listened to, though. Just name it, because people that are watching probably uh, might have it. Exhibit multiply. Okay, I already downloaded that one last time we talked. Okay, go, guy. Uh, You're looking at your phone. You're supposed to do it off the top of your head. Uh, Lucifer, easy. My life. One second. Ian's taking what? two. Ian's taking two turns. Go figure. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Nick. <laughs> or go ahead, guy. <laughs> guy, go ahead. Fifty Cent, my life. Good song. I wonder if I, I think I have that one. Um, I'm gonna contribute. Tupac so many tears 
Good talk. Write it down. Dope. I don't have to write down my own music. It's already in my playlist. do because I want the list. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I want the list too. Okay, okay, you fucks. I got to do everything. This is you, you started this. Okay, that's fine. I'll make the list. That's fine. Now all the people watching are going to be like, send me the list too, bro. I got to maybe post I'll just, it on IG. I'll post it on IG. Yeah, 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 okay. Just, just put it in the description below this. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Below this. See, fucking... Description below, motherfuckers. Below, below, <laughs> below this guy. Guy got you. <laughs> Nick, go ahead. Eminem till I collapse. Nick, did you get bigger from last week? I might have. Holy fuck, man. What's the M- point, I was, bro? I was 292 this morning. Oh, shit. We weigh literally the exact same. Hey. I was 292.2 today. Oh, shit. I'm, Someone's wait, growing. You guys are outweighing me by 30 pounds now. <laughs> guy, what are you, like 190? I'll kick you your baby nuts. How much do you weigh right now, guy? 200? <laughs> 210? <laughs> 210. 210? You haven't changed then. Like, you weigh 210 on stage. I weigh a little less, like 205. Jeez, you stay right around. The, you have have you lost muscle, or are you just kind of body composition changed? Yeah, I'm I'm like like flatter. Like I'm not as round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm taking fucking 200 megs of test a week. Right? I had a heart checkup today. The doctor was like, "Don't ever do steroids again or growth hormone." <laughs> is that what he said? Literally. Are you being serious? No, he literally said to me, "He's like, your heart is enlarged. Uh, it's not bad." He just like, "Look, your heart's a little thicker than it should yeah, be." Of course. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I've done steroids for 20 years, and so I'm like. He asked me, he's like, have you done steroids? I'm like, yeah, off and on for 20 years. I was a professional bodybuilder. He's like, have you ever done growth hormone? I'm like, yeah, probably for about 10 to 12, 10 to 12 years. And he's like, uh, well, you probably shouldn't do anymore because your heart's a little thicker than it should be. So, and then I asked him about TRT because I'm like, I probably can't get my normal test back. And he's like, TRT should be fine. We'll just have you meet with an endo- endocrinologist. So I'm going to go see an endocrinologist and they'll put me on TRT and then Good. that should be it. But other than that, the checkup went well. My stress test went well. Everything, uh, he said you everything. Sweat like a fat fuck, eh? Oh my God. I sweat. I have like hyperhydrosis, man. I sweat like fucking. Yeah. I did, I did 11. Is that minutes. a thing or did you make that up? No, <laughs> it's a real thing. You have oh, sweating disorder, hyperhydrosis. <laughs> it's an actual disorder. <laughs> Not that I have it, but I was going to credit you in being so witty and saying that. No, word. it's a real yeah. thing. I you was going to say, it. man, I'm quick with my words. That was good. <laughs> no, that's a, no, that's a real thing. Oh, um, it's like take back it's, my compliment. Hyperhidrosis is overactive sweat glands. Yeah. So, anyways, um, so wait, you have hyperhidrosis and I don't tips? think I said. First of all, I don't have cheeseburger tips. I like cheeseburgers. Right He's now, only two fifty-five now. You right know? now, I'm two fifty-eight. Fucking yeah. feeling good. No, is um, that low for you? Man, I haven't been two fifty-eight since I was on stage in Orlando, like fucking yeah. eight years ago. And so that I was a good. PRT that was a great two fifty-eight. This is just fucking sloppy. Yeah, you whooped my ass that show. Well, in your defense, it was your first show ever. What's that? You want to have the TRT Classic? Yeah, yeah. Once my once once I see my endocrinologist, I'll do I'll do TRT only. You're gonna be like 190 at that time, and I'll be like 230. 230 with saggy skin. You're gonna look like fucking. I'm gonna have saggy skin. What are you talking about? My skin's great. The two 290 shrink down to fucking 200. Fuad's gonna be getting a tummy tuck. I will. I will. If I have loose skin, I will definitely get it cut off. Really? I'm not gonna have loose skin, man. You don't get loose skin just from fucking losing a little bit of muscle. Look how fucking upset you're getting over it. <laughs> it's hitting a so face. He knows it's a little true. He's like, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh, well, I am worried about it. I always, I always. That's the one thing I didn't like about guys after bodybuilding, is they would get like droopy pecs and shit. Yeah, they I, look I, more wrinkly and droopy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to have that. I'm gonna. That's get just like, gonna anyway. like we're all gonna look like that, like fucking nuts. No, nuts, man, you know? I'm gonna get my it's chest. Anyone that loses weight, you know, I'm gonna get my chest fucking. Tucked and wrapped. Ew, and then you're gonna have fucking scars like an asshole. Nah, um, they, can good. Do it, they can do it good now. They do it with lasers, man. To vacuum that shit up, make it look nice. Yeah. You already thought this through, huh? Oh yeah, I'm not. He's fucking, already done a consult. I've already talked to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. Okay, sign me up when I'm sixty. Uh, Ian, you're next. Uh, Renegade, Jay Z, and Eminem. Good. Jay. Song. That's a good one. Z, Eminem, Renegade. Guy. I'm going to go Notorious Thugs. Six. Sorry. Bone Thugs in Harmony and uh, Biggie. Bone Thugs. 
biggie I'll, fight any, I'll scream at anybody in front of the hack squad to that's one <laughs> you just need to you just need to cut out the seven minute intro <clears throat> huh oh the beginning the like two and a half minute intro of, yeah. yeah i'm gonna With change the same it. I'm fucking gonna... chorus over and over yeah. i'm gonna change it up a bit i'm gonna go metallica one great song i'm gonna say yeah, it's a great song nick you're up here to win by king flex king see this is how young you are i don't even know the guys yeah i are. have no idea who you named so far clueless <laughs> <laughs> what, is it here to, to what is it nick here to win yeah here to win here to win king flex ian's cheating by the way i can see I, i'm not good at remembering names so i gotta go back in all right i might have to do that too as we go along okay what's go ahead ian wait i'm trying to uh <laughs> i can't even find i rethought my uh i rethought my arnold picks here we go. This fucking well, 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 27 podcasts a week. He's got to redo this pick. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. You're such an old Italian person. <laughs> you just sound well, just the, the way you complain. <laughs> like, like the way you oh, say I, 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 <laughs> the way you say things like, oh, this fucking you just turn your head like nobody's listening. You're like, oh, this fucking guy is gonna change. <laughs> like I can hear you. That make me old and <laughs> I don't know. This is the way you <laughs> your mannerisms. <laughs> My dad would be so proud. You're like a character out of a fucking movie, man. It's hilarious. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say, you fucking idiot. Um, yeah, I'm coming to your house. June, okay. babe. I can't find my song. Tell us about the Arnold. I'm, you you're going to sleep. I got my chili pad. You can sleep on the side next to me. I'm not Maybe sleeping on your room. fucking bed. What are you talking about? Why are you getting so upset? <laughs> <laughs> I, want my, I want my own room. <laughs> you have like you a want, fucking want, massive house. Tunnel. You have your own room. I just thought it'd be comfy sleeping next to me. No, no nickel sleep is good. Well, the biggest and the smallest. They can sleep in the same yeah. bed. <laughs> yeah. Touch me, I'll fucking kill you. How many rooms you got? Three? Four. Four, four rooms. Guy, you don't, you don't want to cut four, four rooms and four couches and two two beds. So four rooms that have a bed in four each. Four bedrooms. Yeah. Four bedrooms, only two of the bedrooms have beds in them. Two of the bedrooms have beds, and I have a, two huge sectionals. And then two a be, a couch upstairs and a big couch downstairs. So two people can sleep comfortably at your house. The other four. I've had people sleep on this couch, that couch, the couch upstairs, the bedroom, and the couch downstairs. When Because I had a Cito here, Sergio here, Stan here, his girlfriend, I had everybody. I do, you want, every, do you want everybody in your house? I don't know. Whoever wants to, I don't give a fuck. I call bed. I call bed. <laughs> I, call I, I can get an. I have another mattress stored in my parents' house. I can get and put in the other room. I want my own bedroom and bathroom. <laughs> Me what, too. What is, who the fuck you think you are? Is, is there? Fuck, huh? Is there a bedroom well, with an ensuite? <laughs> is there wow. a bedroom? Is there a bedroom with an ensuite other than the master? You guys are some bougie bitches. Well, I'm just asking. I need my, I need my own bathroom. You got, you, you got. Listen, all the guests have their own. There's fucking a two person bathroom in the fucking in the hallway. Two vanity sink, your own bathroom. Leave me the fuck. Yeah, out. but I need my own bathroom. You can't and have Bill, your own bathroom. You know what? There's a great hotel, Homewood Suites, down the fucking street. For me. <laughs> <laughs> you want your own fucking bathroom? <laughs> fucking two hundred bucks a night to get you whatever your own fucking everything. <laughs> we're gonna have to hire a videographer for that weekend yeah. we're gonna need somebody we're gonna need somebody at your house filming every yeah, now everybody's gonna message me when i fucking put out three weeks ago i need a videographer for youtube not one fucking lazy bastard hit me up but now that we're coming to fucking the boys are back in town i'm gonna have everybody and their mother be like, hey can i film you for free yeah that's all right just per get perks somebody. The job, bro. then they'll help you afterwards too then you'll have a hookup It'll i could just use the security film from in here <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it'll be like an episode of fucking shit. Big Brother. It'll be like Big Brother for the fucking ceiling corner cams, you know. <laughs> um. Okay, Ian's skipping. Guy, go. No, just um. Uh, non-point in the air tonight. What? Phil Collins. Point. <laughs> in the air tonight, Phil Collins. That's a great song. Uh, non-point in the air tonight. Is that what you said? That's a good one. I'm with that one. No idea what that is. <laughs> Sucks to be you. That's why we're doing this, guy, so I can learn. Because my thing. fucking music is the same from like the newest song I have is from. Like I literally add. I haven't added. I don't think a gym song in probably five years. It's everything I add is country. Now, okay, I got uh, one for you. Go ahead, Ian. 
Avenge Sevenfold, Hail to the King. Avenge Sevenfold. That's a good one. I'll give you some more hard, hard rock shit. Oh, I got a good one coming in with the Hutcha. Hail to the King. Uh, I'm going to go. <sighs> Disturbed Monster. Good song. Okay. Who's up next? Me. Go ahead. Slipknot before I forget. I thought you were going to say Wait and Bleed. I was going to say Good Song. That's a good song, too, though. That one's good, too. Before I forget. Yeah. And what? Wait and Bleed by the same group is good, too. Yeah. Wait. Does that count as guys' pick? No. No. <laughs> 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 Ian, you got one or no? Wait, you're skipping me? No, it goes. No, Nick, Ian's Ian, next guy. Bro. Wait, I'm next to here and Ian. I got, here. I got Nick. I over went here. first, then Ian, and then, then I you. have Ian, and then I have you. So it's going around the horn. It's just, just we got to keep the same fucking synchronization here. I get so you have been. He's confused. Guy's confused. Ian, go. Just Ian, uh, go. We'll do some OG, some uh, Kanye, Jesus walks. Oh, okay. Okay. I can do that. Okay, guy. Seven dust, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Why so angry? <laughs> Seven dust, Get- bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Um, There's a billion songs you can't. You're on three. Well, I can just rip off skip. all. You have five seconds, or you skipped. That's the game. Metallica, King, nothing. Write it down. Don't look at me. <laughs> I see you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. How long are we doing this for? I don't know. <laughs> I was just thinking the same. <laughs> We'll do it more talk about the Arnold. Fuck this. Talk about the Arnold. <laughs> no, wait a minute. I want to do a few more. I don't have anything new here. There's like five you new got, songs you, here. How many, how many songs total do you have? You need to get a full playlist. How many you got? Man, there's like 10 songs here. I will okay, we'll go 20. We'll go 20. Yeah, we'll get 15 Let's or 20. Do a few more. Just don't worry. Yeah. Then you get yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. Go ahead, Nick. All right. Uh, Dr. Feel Good, Molly Crew. Really? What? <laughs> <laughs> This shit's fantastic. Okay. Where are that in the speakers? I don't get you going. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, three Bonnie and Clyde, Jay Z. That's not a workout song, though. It's a fucking good song, though. Yeah. It's- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go, guy. Uh, Eminem, Drug Ballard. Okay, I'm gonna say Dr. Dre is still Dre. Ooh. Eminem Drug Ballard? Yeah. Yeah. Ballad or Ballard? Ballad. That's what I thought. A guy who's got a fucking weird accent, so I couldn't tell. Can you hear what suck balls? <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> anyway, I was thinking about the Arnold. And, <laughs> I got and, one more. Oh, you, got one oh you want to cut it short. Now, now you want to add in? Now you want to add one. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Uh, let's get dirty, Red Man. Red Man. Oh, oh, Red Man, Method Man, and Limp Bizkit. Rollins, another good one. That's a good one, too. No. <laughs> let's, let's get dirty, dope, though. You'll like it. You probably know it. Dirty. Okay. Um, that's a good start. Okay. So, Arnold's, I had a... Uh, Ian, I don't think I got your list. Because the okay. last week we did, oh, I did when when um, Evan was on. Yeah, that's right. Where the fuck did I put that? Evan was fucking hilarious. I was laughing my ass off. He is hilarious. That fucking painting, man. I want him to do. Want him to have come on more often. Uh, okay. I don't know where Ian's went, so I'm gonna have to redo it. Okay. So anyway, I was thinking about placings. All right. And if you go by history, 
All right. It would go, and, and assuming Nathan's in the show. Okay. It would go, go Brand, uh, Brandon. It would go Brandon, Bonac, Nathan. If you want to go that way, yes, yeah. If you're thinking of it in terms of statistics, right? Olympia placings, winning statistics, yes. Right. So you got Brandon obviously has the best placings being a former Actually, Mr. Olympia. No, that's not, that's not true. You would have Kuklo ahead of, uh, of Nathan. Mm, true. Well, he's won Arnold's, but he's never won the Arnold Ohio. And no, but I think the times they have competed at the Olympia together, Kuklo has placed Steve, higher. Steve was higher. Yeah, yeah, but that was Nathan much smaller than Nathan oh, is that, now. No, it wasn't. That was like when he was doing New York Pro and like working. Yeah, well, wait, hold he, on. That, that was, was like 20, 20, placing Fuad. So that was like 2018, though. Yeah, but he was fucking. That was when he was like Kuwait to AJ Sims to Matt. That was like some of the biggest he was. I think he was bigger this year, but you're right. You yeah, were, I, AJ? But you're right. No, like, well, hold on, but if you're going by placings, you you're right. Going right. by placings, so. But I'm not talking about who beat who. I'm talking about overall placings. So how many wins does Kuklo have? Quite a few, man. Yeah, but what is a quite a few? Like Nathan's got nine wins, and one of them's an Arnold. Oh, no, Kuklo doesn't have nine for sure. No. That's what I'm saying. So Nathan's got nine wins. One of them is an Arnold. So I got Nathan in third if we're talking stats. Yeah, sure. And, I then, agree. and then Kuklo would be fourth. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, okay, sure. sure. I'm not saying this is the way you have to do it because everything changes. People come up and people people. But people. I look, and I, this is all the respect in the world to Nathan. And like, obviously, I would prefer Nathan beat Steve. But I mean, from logistics, if they've competed against each other and in the basically every time Steve has beat Nathan, don't you have to kind of put Nathan above, even if Nathan has more wins? Because like, it's, you know. I, I agree with that. But how many times has he beat him? That's what I, I don't remember. I would put, if I had a judge, it, I would put whoever beat who the most amount of times if it was close. If Nathan beat him five years ago and hasn't beat him since, then that's a different fucking... But if you're talking in the past two years, I would compare when they went head-to-head -head and who won. When did they go head-to-head, -head, Ian? Uh, so 2018 Olympia. Uh, 2016 Olympia, maybe. Oh, no, but he, he play, maybe he actually plays lower than Nathan that year. Okay, so you know, you might, you might be right. 2016 Olympia... Uh, yeah, Nathan was 12th and Steve was 13th in the 2016. Okay, so so if we're going by if we're going by if we're going by history, we're gonna go Curry. Oh man, okay. I sorry, I apologize to Nathan here because both times actually at the Olympia 2018, Nathan was eighth and Steve was tenth. Okay, so, so Curry. My apologies, Nathan. You're you're you win that one. Curry, Bonac, Diasha. And then yeah. I'm I'm saying Cedric. And remember, I'm going I'm only going by history. Because wow. Cedric's won a, a few shows and he's won an Arnold Columbus. Sure. So you would say Cedric, correct? I mean, if you're going that way, yes, but I know you I, don't. I know, I know, I know that's not what we're gonna finish with. I just want to just an exercise I'm trying to do. Sure. Yep. Okay, so Cedric would be fourth in and st then, statistically. And then Akeem. Wouldn't Justin be ahead of Akeem? Or no, Akeem's beaten Justin on stage just like a year ago or two, right? Yeah. Well, Justin came... He one, just beat Akeem at the Arnold and Olympia, Akeem, didn't he? Akeem at the Olympia um, and the Arnold, but I think the year before... Akeem beat Justin the year before. Beat him the year before and placed sixth at the Olympia, where Justin yeah. played like eighth or ninth this year, right? And also beat him at Chicago that one year. Yeah. So is there anybody ahead of Justin or Akeem, or is those two like going to be tied for fifth? Justin Akeem, I would give a tie for that place, yeah. Wait, don't we have Kuklo after Cedric? Well, I thought you already put him down. No, I didn't. So is Kuklo after Diasha or is Kuklo after Cedric? Because Cedric's one uh, of Arnold Columbus. He would be after Cedric. I mean, technically, you would even put Cedric before Nathan, no? Like an Arnold Columbus win? He's good. But I don't know how many how many pro wins does he have, like three or four? I don't know. Na uh, Steve has three. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the shows Cedric's won. So I guess if we're giving that much stock to the Arnold Columbus. Okay, so Cedric has won one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. yeah. Seven, yeah. seven shows plus an Arnold win. Yeah. So we go really a second. So so we go Cedric, Nathan, Kuklo. Right? 
Yeah. Cedric, Nathan, Kuklo. Yeah. It's pretty close between Nathan and Cedric, but yeah, I mean, that Arnold Classic win is pretty I big. think the Arnold Classic win puts him over Nathan because it's a Colum- it's an Arnold Columbus. Yeah. So then we go Kuklo, fifth, and then from there... A tie I, with Akeem. You'd Justin. have to go Akeem, Justin. Um, and then you'd have to go... Regan's got to win. Samson's got to win. Max Charles has wins, doesn't he? Max Charles has a couple wins, probably. Raphael's got to win. I think after that, it's kind of like there's a tie for fucking four or five places. Yeah. Because yeah. Muhammad, uh, does Muhammad Chaban have a win yet? No. So no. Muhammad, so there's probably three guys on that list without a win yet. I think it's Muhammad. And Brett Fab- doesn't have a win either, obviously. Muhammad, Fabio, and Brett don't have a win. Okay. So that's why the statistical thing doesn't work. Because in that scenario, then Brett would be like third. Second last. Yeah, yeah, second or third last. Okay. So I just wanted to do this exercise just to kind of figure out how things change over time. Cause like you have your statistics of where guys were and how much, how, where they should be. And then you have no, to factor where they, be, where they were. Well, where they were, where they have been, where, where they, they statistically they, fall, where they statistically fall, but it's, then you have to factor in how much things change with time. Mm-hmm. So either way, this is going to be very, very interesting and close. Yeah. Yeah, because I was trying to, I, I was trying to that. think of what, when I was trying to break the show down, I was trying to think of a better way to have a more legitimate guess. So the only how person, you to, how you have to base for most legitimate is most recent, most consistent. So it's like what their last showing was, or their last two showings, um, and then extrapolate from there. That's the only way you can do it in bodybuilding because past things means like how good you were five years ago. Are you talking about placings, Ian, or how they actually looked? No, he um, means like if you're gonna if you're gonna if you're gonna try and predict who's gonna place where, you have to go by their most recent looks. Yeah, and, and like I don't want to shit on Cedric here, but like yes, Cedric has won the Arnold, but Cedric hasn't been like that in a long time. In the last shows he did, he didn't even make a first call and, out. And I was also gonna say wins also don't play a role because I want to show with seven guys in it, and I want to show with thirty guys in it. So if you have a guy that has multiple wins and maybe just cherry pick a lot of good shows to win. Okay, listen, and before before you guys too. go on, I didn't think that the statistic thing would be no, no, I know. an ideal way to pick the... I just wanted to do the exercise just to see where things would be if we did it. So now that I... But now that I see it, it doesn't look that far off except for Cedric's recent placings haven't been as good. Because Curry Bonac could easily be picked as first and second. And Nathan and Kuklo could easily be in the top five. Sure. Yeah, I don't disagree. So it's really a not lot that... of these guys can be in the top five or three. No, no, but think about it. Out of the, all the guys in, that we're looking at right here, Nathan and Kuklo have a very strong chance of being in the top five. <laughs> yeah. Guy, do you agree with that? If you're looking at this list, you guys could lose friends on this podcast. I'm not saying we're. But like, lose that, friends, man. I'm, I'm just, keeping my joke. friends. Okay, was a joke. Yes, I, I agree. But like in that same breath, you could also have like Justin, the first call out. You could have Brett. You could have Akeem. You know, like there's a lot. Uh, Regan looks good. Like, I mean, you could have a this lot of This whole that. lineup looks like. No, a no, no, no. Listen, I, we already established that, how deep yeah. the lineup is. But I'm saying if you're going to try and give an, a, an educated guess. Then I think you base it off their last competitions. Okay. So, but, okay, so guys so that went to Olympia. And like, so and, Cedric, and so Cedric wouldn't even be up there in the top five. Uh, and and that's I think when we made our decisions, we all went that way. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah. So, but I feel like when we made our predictions before, it was more of a guess. That's why I want to do that's that. That's what a prediction is, bro. Yeah, but you can okay, but it's not a flat you want, out. Guess. You want to make some more science behind it. It's not a it's not a complete guess like out of thin air. There's some hypothesis See, behind it. When I do this, I'm basing it off what their last showings were. You know. Okay. Like someone like Cedric is more than just. So what do you? Well, I don't have your. I don't have your last prediction in front of me. What was it? So I can put it down. So you have right. Brandon. Brandon winning. You want to see the list? I have, Brand, I have Brandon winning. There's a list. So you have Curry. Yeah, I think I have. I think I put Brandon first. Uh, it's so hard to pick number two, eh? Number two is the hardest spot in the whole thing for me to pick. Brett or Bonac. Yeah, it's it's Brett, Bonac, Nathan, or Kuklo. I guess it's like it's any of those guys. Um, Brett, Bonac, 
Is, oh, you're just saying that. That's not your pick. No, no. So I. Uh, I don't fucking know. Um, I'm going to put Brett in second. Brett? Who's third? Bonac? Bonac. Then I'm going to put. If you went like statistically, like we were talking, it would be. Who's fourth? Uh, fourth, I'm going to put Steve. Steve. Fifth, I'm going to put Justin. Justin. Okay. So and what I'm trying, what I was trying to say earlier is the statistics aren't that off, except you have Cedric wow. moved out and Brett moved in. Like, mm-hmm. and, and you switch Justin and Kuklo. So it's like, it's not, their past, their history does predict, does sh- prove something. Well, obviously to a point, because if you've won yeah. lots of shows, you obviously have some prowess of a bodybuilder. That's right. So obviously it does to some point, but it's also, you know, if you have wins from 2014, it's not necessarily reflecting how good you are in 2022. So based, so I went, I went Curry, Wilkin, Bonac, Kuklo, Justin, Samson. That's literally what I just did. I know. I already had, I had my written down, so I didn't yeah. copy So we yours. did the exact same. Yeah. That's right. What I'm saying though, is the only reason I have Justin there, not Nathan is because I'm not sure Nathan's going to make it. I don't know if he is or not. Like nobody take that as like an inside information. I don't know if Nathan's going to make it or not. He says he is. So if, I, I, think, if he, I think Justin's also too strong from the, a little too strong for the back from Nathan. Yeah. I think Nathan is better separation. And I agree, but Justin from the back is very wide and very thick. Like, I can, I give you the, I'll give you the person, back. Shoulder Nathan to shoulder person, Nathan, nice or Justin's one of the widest guys out there for sure. Yeah, I give you that. Justin's like a brick shit house. I, I think Nathan can beat Justin. I, I think that's a very good matchup for sure. I think that, you know, obviously the front double. I think the strengths, I think the strengths that Nathan has, Justin doesn't have and vice versa. Yeah, like the front double, front lat, you're going to give to Nathan. Side chest, you're probably giving to Justin. Side tribe, maybe to Nathan. The back shots, you're giving to Justin. Abs and thighs to Nathan, most muscular to Justin. So it's it's kind of jumping back but, and forth. But then if you're doing overall overall flow of physique, I'm going to go with Nathan's physique because there's yeah. not it's not always just pose for pose, right? Oh like no, are, of course not. I understand yeah. that. I, so I they're looking just, at yeah. So they are looking. So if the poses are going, let's say they go halfway each way, right? Justin is just I think a little too heavily muscled, and I I mean that you know I think they're both great, but I'm going to give Justin the edge on that one. So you're saying then you think I agree. So you think Justin placed what ninth at the Olympia or eighth? Eighth. Eighth. One spot behind me. Eighth at the Olympia. So you think if Nathan did the Olympia, he would be outside the top eight? I think he would have been right around that same seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So mm-hmm. he's so you think he's close to Justin, but if you had to guess, you would pick Justin. I mean, I think there's been showings that Justin has had that would beat Nathan's, and I think Nathan has had showings that would beat Justin. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like they're very like it's just gonna depend who's better that day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I could give you that. Like, I um, think like, a you know, a, a Justin from, you know, the shows he did earlier in the year, the Arnold or something. Yeah, I think that would be tough for Nathan to beat. But I think some of his other showings that weren't quite as good, um, I think Nathan could beat for sure. Yeah. And I, I honestly think Regan's going to be really fucking good. I do, I do too. too. I do too. I, I think he's going to be the, the def- Brett and, I think Brett's getting more talk, but I think Regan is going to be very, very surprising for a lot of people. Yeah, I, I feel agree. like Regan will be in the top five. I agree. Yeah. I don't know if he'll be in the top five. I don't know, man. He Even the picture I just saw, like, doing that front lat recently, it yeah, looked a bro. lot more muscular. Like, it's it's a shot that, you know, he always looks pretty in because he has a nice shape, but, like, the thickness and the width and the legs and the depth of the chest, like, he's definitely putting on muscle. And, I mean, he still has, what, quite a few weeks there with with fucking Milos killing him every day? I mean, yeah. So, Regan, so that means yeah. so that means Regan has to beat Brett and, Brett and Justin. Because you guys, you got, do you guys think Regan can beat Steve Kuklo, Bonac, or Curry? Oh, that's tough, man. That's, that's tough, tough, right? That's tough to say. I think Regan is going to shock. Bonac, them. yeah, I, it depend. It, a lot rides on how good Bonac looks. You know, look, I have a, I have a tough time. I love Brett. He's one of my friends, and he's our athlete. I have a tough time putting Brett in second. I do think he's going to shock a lot of people and be in second, but. To say Brett Wilkins is going to be Brett Wilkin is going to be better than Kuklo is a big, like that's a big statement. Yeah, right? big, Kuklo's sure. Kuklo's very wide, very thick, and if he comes in shape, it's going to be very hard to beat. I beat Kuklo. I know you did. Yeah. 
I beat no one thought I was going to though. No, no, I'm not saying Brett can't beat him. That's why I have him in second. Uh, but I'm just saying it's it's when you're saying these things, that's a big statement to make, right? So I think Brett can make it that statement. Yeah, but do you think Regan can it's, also make that statement? I think so. I think it's going to be harder because he's taller, and I mean that no disrespect. It's just harder when you're taller. All it comes down to for Regan is his conditioning. If Regan is in really good shape, like he was for one of those last two shows at the end of the year. Yeah, but he still needs that added thickness. No, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Ian, stick with that. So you think if Regan's in shape, like shape, shape, you think he can beat Kuklo? If Regan is healed, I think he'll definitely be in the top six, yes. Can he beat Kuklo if he's shredded? Yes. Guy, do you think that too? No. Regan Regan is... Wait, are you saying Regan Regan can beat Kuklo if Regan shredded? Yes. No, let me say this. Wait, 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 wait. What if he added some size? And wait a minute. Should... Not if or not. Just answer that one question. One guy at a time. Yes. If Regan is 100% at the Arnold, Ohio, can he beat Kuklo? Yeah. Well, is Kuklo 100%? Yes, they're both 100%. No. 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 I think I think Regan is just really, 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 really tough to beat from the back, which I think is some of Steve's weaker shots. True. Uh, so I think that Regan's going to have a, a huge edge for the back, but it all comes down to his conditioning. Can I tell I you what I think the difference is going to be? I think so. I agree with Ian. Well, I'll I mean, tell you yes, what... Steve is going to out, outweigh him by 30 pounds. I agree, but. I'll tell you what the difference is going to be. They're, they're going to come out and Steve is going to look much bigger, especially in the shoulders. Yes, yeah, Steve I, also I... looked much bigger than me in, in Texas and the Arnold. I beat him in both. You don't have, Regan doesn't have your physique. That doesn't mean anything. I understand that, but Regan's also and Regan than- and, and, and Kuklo doesn't. I look came bigger. up. No, no, no. Kuklo's wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kuklo doesn't look bigger than you. Kuklo looks wider than you. There's a difference. Sure. Yes. Yeah, but Regan doesn't. Well, Regan's Regan- also six foot. Like he's a big structured guy. No, no. I know that, but Regan's not. He's a big guy. Regan doesn't have the dense muscularity that you have. So they're both looking at being a taller, wider person. But Steve yep. is the taller, wider person. So yes, now but then you're Regan like. Also, I think has a little better shape. He's better from the back. I think he's got a little prettier, you know, in, in the front shots. I think Steve's going to cream him in the side shots. I, I think I agree with Ian, but Ian, when you compact somebody like fucking Steve, Steve is a massive fucking dude. And I size, think Regan's, only, size I think Regan's, only is going to play a role. Wait a minute. Steve, I think Regan's dude, got, sure. Regan's got better abs. Steve's got a better chest and shoulders. Steve's Great. also got, Steve's also better got legs. equal arms, probably. Maybe Steve's got a little bit better arms. A little better and, arms. And their Regan's legs. got better hamstrings and better back. Yeah, so Steve's going to win all the front and side shots. If Steve comes in peeled, Steve Steve will win that battle. If, if Steve so is too. peeled, I agree. But I both the shows Steve did this year, I wouldn't consider that he was peeled, peeled. No. Uh, but Regan, but if we're playing that game, then Regan's only coming peeled, peeled shape once. Yeah, yeah, which is most recently with Milos that he's no, he didn't now. come in shape after that. He came, he he lost a bit after that. That's why he lost. Well, yeah, okay, traveling around Europe, fucking, I get that. But the first show they did when he was fresh going in, he was in shape, and I think going into the Arnold, living with Milos down there, he will he will be in shape. Okay, I I agree with that, but I also think Kuklo needs to make up for your last year, and I think I he will also he will I, also be in shape. There's so there's a million scenarios we can play this through. I'm that's why I'm just trying to. That's why he's, I'm trying, he's hungry. I know that. That's why I'm trying, trying to just take them both at 100. percent I'm not playing the other games. I'm just saying if they're both 100, percent who wins? If they're both 100 percent where they are in their career Steve. now, Kuklo wins. Yes, guy, do you agree with that too? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to the bet on where I, I got one. I got one. Sure. I got one. How about Regan or Samson? Regan. I yeah. think they're both working with Milos and they're both putting on yeah. a lot of size and they're both and they're both more, pretty comparable. And they're both getting more and more closer to their peak shape. Yeah. That's a tough one. I, I think I'd pick Samson. Samson just hasn't nailed that conditioning yet. And I think until he's proven that, it's hard for me to put him there. I feel like Ian's right on that one. Even though I love Samson to death. I feel like until he gets those glutes sharp. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit of hesitation. Yeah. He's got a super pretty physique. He's definitely getting more muscle, um, you know, and, and from that standpoint, he can match up with Regan in My, muscularity and, and in, in shape. But I think Regan just recently has been displaying that he can get in better condition. My opinion is okay. uh, Raphael, Samson, and Regan are going to be very, very close. And I might even throw I might even throw Mo into that mix. Yeah, Mo. Yeah. Those four guys all have pretty shape. Mo is obviously a little bit bottom heavy, but I think that group is going to be separate from the other group. My opinion is Justin uh, will move up with the Kuklo group 
Justin Akeem, Kuklo, those guys, yeah. Yeah. Akeem, I'm not sure where. Well, if put. Akeem's not in shape, Akeem's at the, at the bottom. That's yeah, what Akeem, I'm saying. Akeem could be second or last, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the crazy thing about Akeem's physique. It's like if he's a little bit off, it throws off everything. Yeah, because he has so much muscle that if he's yeah. in shape, he looks awesome. But when he's not in shape, it just makes him look like even softer, you know? So it's tough. It's tough to gauge Akeem because he was kind of like really good at one show and then off at another show. And then so you don't yeah. know which Akeem's going to show up. Yeah. If a key, like you said, if Akeem shows up at his best, fuck, he could be in easily in the top three or top five. Easy. Yeah. I mean, easily. Yeah. I mean, he gave six at the Arnold beating yeah. Hunter, beating me. I mean, like, you know. Yeah. Right, you mean, I mean, I mean, Akeem could be, you're right. Akeem could be as high as second. I would go with that. Yeah, absolutely. He if, could he's, be for sure. if he's 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So going back to more pragmatic, a more pragmatic approach. So we got Curry, Wilkin, Bonac. Do we kind of all agree on that? We kind of all have that, I think. Yeah, I think we're all in the same. Oh no, Nick! Nick, you have you have Brandon, Brett, and then Kuklo, and Justin and Sampson yeah. and bon- Bonac like six. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I feel like Bonac is going to be off. I see. I'm tending to agree with Nick, but I'm like hesitant to say it. I was going to say at the beginning, I'm like I don't know. You know, it so much depends on where Bonac looks, and I, I think I do agree with him. I think he's at that point in his career, kind of like Cedric, where it's not going to be getting any better. So it just depends how much worse he's got since the Olympia, which is an awful thing to say, but I, I don't think he's going to be getting better at this point. I'm not ready to write him off yet. I think I'm not either. And that's why I put him in third. I think at the Olympia, I think at the Olympia, he was stuck in a hotel room for two weeks before the show, probably couldn't train properly and probably didn't look his best. I think, <laughs> I think if he doesn't have any travel issues, I, I, I think, think the thing that is not lacking for him though, is not his conditioning as it is more the age and showing in muscularity. No, but I think oh. when you can't train for two weeks, it shows in your fullness. Sure. Okay. I mean, if that's, if you think, believe that, then I agree. No, but do, don't you think if you sat in a hotel room for two weeks, couldn't train legs, don't you think your legs would look a little downsized? I didn't, I didn't know he didn't train for two weeks. That's what I heard. I heard he was, okay. he, he was, yeah, stuck. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Either. Yeah. I heard he was stuck in Dubai because he couldn't travel or had to quarantine. I heard he was shit. stuck in Dubai, but I don't think it was stuck in a hotel room. I think he was just stuck in the city. I don't know if it was in Ho- in Dubai or when he got here, but somewhere he was quarantining. Yes, and couldn't I, leave I heard he was room. stuck, but I don't. I thought he still had the ability to train. We, I, I have no certainty of that though. I could be wrong. Also, that's what yeah. I. That's just what I heard. We so, both don't know. Right. Yeah. So if I if I do if I go with that, then I'm gonna I'm gonna hope he comes back better because he doesn't have any issues. Yep. I mean, it's a fair. It's a fair assumption. Sure. So, Nick, you're gonna stick with the Bonac six do it that's a big one dude you got to think he was he was sixth at the olympia like he beat you. i mean this is this lineup's almost as good as the olympia minus the top two you know yeah but he beat you at the olympia that means you're thinking bonac can... yeah i mean barely come on i'm not it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that's not the point <laughs> the point is he was six at the olympia so that means you're putting him ahead of you're putting him behind samson and justin and well, Kuklo. i did huh? i put him in third no 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 i'm talking to nick Oh yeah. Nick's just thinking. It's just taking a while. He's just you computing. Freeze, yeah, I didn't freeze. I didn't freeze. He's thinking. He's thinking silently. Think out loud. You're on a podcast. Yeah, your fan's off. We don't know if you're frozen. <laughs> no, it is off. Shit, I was wondering. I was wondering why I was hot. Um, I'm gonna go with Brandon. I'm not, I'm actually gonna put Steve in second. Oh, okay. We're getting interesting now. Um, I'll put William third, Nathan fourth, Should and Brett good. fifth. Wow, Brett moved down three spots. Brett fifth. Is Nathan even confirmed to be going, by the way? No. Well, he's on the list, but <laughs> never, know, never know with travel issues and stuff with Nathan. What a guy yeah. have. What's guy's list? Guy has Brandon, Brett, Bonac, Justin, and Mo. Okay. Mo. Mo's good. I'm giving a lot of props to Mo, but yeah, I think Mo will be good. Yeah. Mo's good. When when, when Mo did California. Mo, I don't let me down, thought bro. It, I thought I'm a huge incredible. fan of Mo, man. I yeah. love Mo's physique. If he can get his upper body to match a little bit more with the lower body, he'll be very hard to beat. Yeah. I, I like him a lot. He reminds me of Caprice Murray. I said it before. I like his physique. He reminds yeah. me of a younger Branch Warren. Before yeah. branch balanced upper body, he does kind of look like that. You're right, a yeah. young branch, yeah. With yeah. legs and stuff, and the waistline. Yeah. He's got very similar midsection, similar yeah. legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. Um, he's got that grainy muscle to him. Yeah, 
What a good fucking show. All right. Yeah, I mean, the show's amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's called Bro Chat. Check it out. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do some questions. Got a little bit of time to go. There you go. Let's let's make a left turn. What do you mean? What do you want to do? No, I'm saying we're going to What do you want to do? You host the show. Ready? Take over. Go. It's not going to work. I, I'm, <laughs> it's not gonna I, I can work. talk about anything. Go ahead. No, I'm saying we're going to take a left turn because we're going to start asking. They ask ridiculous questions, which is the point of this fucking old podcast. It was a good comment. Yeah, make them good, bro. I can't make them good. We have to talk about bodybuilding. You can't just talk about toilet fucking and toilets and taking shits. How's we your just squatty- talked about bodybuilding for a full fucking hour. How's your squatty potty going? How's your squat- squatty potty sponsorship going well? Yeah, people are actually using my code. <laughs> people keep tagging me. I don't know why they're tagging me. It's not my code. Because well, you have a squatty potty. Hey, yeah, if one more person tags me in Thor fucking chopping wood, I'm going to fucking have a oh fucking... Oh, my God, dude. The chopping wood thing. Like, people... What the, the, dude, joke is, the joke point, is dead, man. <laughs> What? I didn't do anything. You're the one who started, started chopping wood. Fucking... Oh, yeah. I just fucking picked it up as a hobby. No, I mean, <laughs> you started chopping wood on the podcast. You fucking... I Because you said, can you make an appearance <laughs> that day? I thought it was like a two-second. Hi, guys. Happy holidays. Assalamu alaikum. And you fucking kept me on for two hours. <laughs> Bro, I kept you on. I forced you. You fucking, <laughs> you fucking love it, guy. Shut up. Guy loves that shit. Look how dark guy, is, that a, is that a full beanie toque or is it open on the back? Okay. I just feel like this. It's a scoopy toque. I couldn't tell if it was a headband. I thought it was a headband. I can never get the scoopy toques to work for me. Why? Scoopy you, you, beanies. Just, we got to pull it back for them and drop it down. I know. It never drops down enough for it. It sends up sticking out like a cone. You look like an elf. Yeah. Yeah. It looks stupid. Do I look stupid? No. You look no. Like- Suits your head. You're like your face and beard work with those kind of hats. Yeah. I look I'll ridiculous. Look like a, I look like a weed smoking hippie. Did you trim the sides of your beard because Paul told you to? Huh? He's got more taper going on there. Yeah, right? Oh, no, no. I just got uh I got I my beard. Paul, uh, I, think Paul talk, I think Paul talked you into trimming your beard. Oh, it's just <laughs> white. You can't see it. Guy, you see, I'm coming for you with this thing. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here with that nonsense. <laughs> Give me another month. I'll be right there. Guy, why don't you trim yours a little bit and then we'll all just stop shaving and see how who can grow the longest, fastest beard. You want to just shave it all off again? No, no. Just start. Just bring it down a bit so you're even with me and Ian. How do I do that? Just trim it down a bit. I don't know how, 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 what's a bit? Well, we need what? to all use like the same piece, like a number. Yeah. Like, maybe we yeah. should all just, millimeter. maybe we should all just shave it and start over. No, zero percent. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not getting rid of this at this point there's no way what? no why it took you that long to grow or something or you just like it oh, that this much took like this took me like two weeks <laughs> my shit grows super fast but okay well guy you got to trim yours a bit so we can catch up what i don't okay like oh just leave it just leave it i want to see if i can catch you yeah mine just i, I don't i don't i don't usually trim this this just keeps going yeah. i'm gonna start yeah. com- combing my shit so it grows faster is mine mine's a little longer than yours? A food or is about the same. Yeah, no, no, yeah, really no, it is. I, I trim mine like recently. Yeah, mine's so getting really you trim yours. What do you do not like the fact that yours is trimmed and mine's longer? Now you want me to fucking well, no, now we're playing down. A, now we're playing a game, so now I want to catch up. Yeah, this is how long mine is. You see, Nick, why don't you catch up? The game is this. Oh, the game is this. I have the best beard on the podcast. That's never going to change when it's yeah, what are you talking about. Your beard mine. looks like a fucking homeless beard. Are you crazy? I'm it's so jealous of the salt pepper though. beard. Look at that. No. Yeah, that's that shit, shit looks like you look homeless, man. You just you know, shit weird in. You need to dye that shit. No, I said your beard's awesome. It's like a fucking 300 beard, you know? It, 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 like, it does look like a 300 beard. It looks like you're drooling a little bit. <laughs> it he's got dipping. <laughs> no, he's got the grace right here. It looks like drool. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the ladies don't hit on me. They're like, look at this fucking guy drooling on himself. <laughs> <laughs> you just for men your beard fuet or are you actually that grayless? No, no, I just for man it. Just for okay. man. Just for man it. I just for man it. Just for man it. <laughs> is it is it almost completely gray if you let it go? That's like guys. Not as bad. Okay. I it, it's pretty black like here. It's just gray on the sides. But yeah, yeah, like I don't know why it does that. Yeah, mine's more gray. It's weird because like mine's starting to go all here gray, but not here. Yeah, I get it more on the sides. Man, if I start combing my shit, it's gonna grow out so fucking fast. Well, it's not going to make it grow faster. Yeah, it is. Keeps it fucking... Fine. It does. Read read up on it. Fuck that shit. That's nonsense. I comb my beard in my <laughs> fucking truck all the time. <laughs> fucking Ian. You're so funny. I'm going to show you right now. Watch. What? what? You're going to Google this combing your beard make it grow faster? Yeah. You know what they used to say, too? Wearing a hat stunts your hair growth. Yeah, like nonsense like that, you know? It does. It actually kills the follicles faster. 
That's what probably the- why I fucking have no hair. I call bullshit. Four hours no. <laughs> it does. It does. I'm telling you, because it doesn't let your hair. It doesn't let your hair breathe. Fuck. Yeah, it fucking does. What are you? I'm crazy? telling you. So what you're wearing a hat with like breathe? you're wearing like a hat like with like the mesh kind of thing. Does that let it breathe better then? Will you get less hair loss with that type of hat? Yes. I uh, didn't know hair breathes. It do- well, your <laughs> hair follicles. It breathes, it all breathes, I guess, but like yeah. a plant. Like it breathes, like a brushing, health brushing exfoliates your skin, helps distribute natural oils through your beard to moisturize, stimulates blood flow, and by consequence can improve beard growth because more nutrients are going to your beard follicles. Nathan, I meant Ian, <laughs> do I look fucking black to you? <laughs> yes, motherfucker. Think you know everything all the time. Look, boom. No, oh, fuck that. That's nonsense. I should uh, do it. I should measure my beard one time and shave it and actually comb it and let it grow and see how fast it grows. Do your, do your own and experiment then do it, and then do it not combing it and see if it's different. I'm bringing, new, I'm bringing nutrients to my follicles right now. I think all to actually like, do that, you'd have to fucking do a lot of combing. You know? I'll comb all the nutrients, baby. I'll comb this shit all day long if it means I win. I'll you comb it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what okay, happens if go. I like if I like inject the growth hormone into my cheeks? Will it make my face like, <laughs> <laughs> might make it might make your face fatter? Hey, I'm do you guys think to my spine and make my fucking self taller? Do you guys think the Rock has fa- <laughs> has face surgery going on? Oh yeah, he gets Botox. The, the Rock. Now. Yeah, I was thinking about it. Yeah. He, his face is looking like more and more like weird. Really? I, I noticed that too. He also, I think, uses filters when he does those IG things. No, no, like when he does the videos. Like, look how yeah. thick his cheeks look. Like he said, he had cheek implants put in or something. Yeah, I think it's just Botox and and a little maybe cheek filler. Like, or look at his. I mean, I know he's chubbier here, but like, like look at here. Like that yeah. does that doesn't look. He's also, he's, his face also looks sucked in there more. Looks yeah, I know. In. Yeah, I know. That's it's hard to tell. I think he gets Botox a thousand percent, but I think almost like everyone does, you know? Yeah, Botox probably. Yeah, I agree with that. But I just thought like this fucking like when he when he did the video, this was a lot of I know video. I saw it. It looked it looked very like fake, you know? Yeah, it looked like cosmetic surgery-ish. Yeah. But I think he does filters on those videos. The rock. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, for the younger guys, who do you see having the best year in 2022 from the younger guys or new pros? Uh, Brett Wilkin will have a breakout year. Top five with Arnold's first pro win in 2022. So was that uh, a question? Or did I he don't answer? know. I think let's just do that was first. confusing. Did he the answer first... the question? <laughs> I think he answered his own question. So our answer is yes. <laughs> Next. The first part. Let's just do the first part. From the younger guys, who do you see having the best year in 2022? Well, who's the younger well, guy? Who's considered the younger guy? Is Nick Nate, younger guy? Like... Well, Nick is the younger guy, so Nick is probably going to have the best year in 2022. Hunter's considered a younger guy, I think. Am I still a younger guy? No way. No, you're, you're 31, always... and you've been around for a while. You're like a... I turned pro in fucking 2014, man. Yeah, you're like a vet now, man. Like eight years ago. You turned pro you're, at... you're old, You turned man. pro at like 23, didn't you? Ian is yeah. not the young gun. I was 23. No. He's been around eight years. He's a vet now. Yeah. I've been around yeah, the world. Yeah, you're a vet. I've done, I calculated the other day. I've done 19, 18, 19 pro shows. Really? 19, yeah. I think I, think I, I, did, about... I, think I did 19 my whole career. So I'm already caught up with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I did 30-something. I did four. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty I did cool. Four, I did four, four, and I won an I won Arnold. Yeah, you've done four and fifty percent of those are Olympias and Arnolds, you know. <laughs> and two Olympia and Arnold, you know? Fucking Nick, man. I forget sometimes how fucking crazy you're I didn't ride. do my first Arnold or first Olympia until I've been pro for four years. I did my first Olympia my second year as a pro. Yeah, I turned but, pro in 14. I didn't do good, though. No, but it was it was easier to qualify then, Nick. Yeah, the, the really? rules were different. The top it was, three. It was, it was, really? so it was top three. Year. When I turned pro, it was top three yeah. qualified for the Olympia. At every show. Oh, really? Yeah. So I took third in Dallas my second year as a Dallas. pro, and I qualified me. That was 2011. No, it was 2000 fucking eight. You turned pro in 07, eight. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wait, yeah. what year did you turn pro? 07. I turned pro in 08. Yeah. Anyway, I turned pro in 20. So wait. So listen. <laughs> so we have. A... <laughs> You're like I was born in 1990. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, no uh, I was born in 1990. 1990 is 31. He was oh, born like right. 1990. What? Before. You know how crazy that sounds to me? 
I was born in 1994. 1994, I was in high school, for fuck's sakes. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Nah, um, what was I going to say? Okay, so we got young guys. We got Nick Hunter. Hunter beat Nick at the Olympia. Don't forget whether you guys agree with it or not. Just saying. Don't, don't. Just, we're not I'm going. just not trying to peel, <laughs> peel a scab. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, you know what? You know what? Let me sip my water on that. <laughs> Nick, you want a band-aid for your, your wound? Just okay, so wait, do young guys mean new guys? Because Brett isn't young, but Brett is new. I think it means newer guys. Yeah. Okay. Brett's newer. So Hunter, Brett, Nick, who else is new? That could be a Quentin. Quentin, young. Quentin could make waves too if he Quentin is a big boy. Quentin's good. Hey, yeah, you've been training with him. How is that? He's big. Isn't He's he the big nicest? Dude, isn't he the nicest fucking guy in the world? Oh, awesome yeah. guy. Yeah. Awesome guy. Yeah. He's bigger in per- he's deceiving because he's tall and big. Eh? He's a big yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah. In yeah. person, though, he's 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 a big boy. You know what, yeah. man? Him and him, I gotta say, like him and Antoine, because last year they were both trained together and they were trying to get to like 300 and fucking whatever pounds. Yeah. I remember walking into Pure one day and they were training together and they were just standing there as I was walking towards them. And I'm like, these fucking guys are humongous. Like yeah. they were both, I think Antoine was like 330 or something like that, and Quinn hey, wasn't. He's- get up like 330 320 like and quentin, you know. quentin wasn't far behind him i think he was like 310 or yeah. 320 or something like that and i couldn't 330 yeah antoine yeah. was up at 334 i think or i don't know how antoine gets that heavy it's crazy legs i always notice but anybody then competes, but then he competes lighter than i do i know he does. i don't i don't know like what happens all i'm saying is i always notice guys with massive legs just their weight yeah. can fucking like fluctuate ben, like Deepak would be like 275 on stage you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um yeah quentin's a good one um those four who else is a new guy that that is like expected to blow up i think that uh hey do you guys see that that horse guy from brazil horse md Horse MD. yeah he's been around yeah is that guy gonna compete in the ifbb or is is he a pro or not i think he's a pro now dude this guy's got an insane physique man Mm -hmm. how big is he never gotten like super sharp condition though has he I don't know. I no, careful. I don't think so. He's Brazilian, so I really got to watch what I say. Here. Careful, Ian. You're already on the in the bad books. Yeah, Marcelo, Marcello, Marcelo. I'm not, I'm not sure which way is the right way to say it. Uh, share my screen with you guys. This guy, it's just his physique is phenomenal. Uh, where's a good shot? Like I don't know how big he is, but like that's really really complete, man. Yeah, it looks crazy. He looks like, nuts. Arms are big, legs are full, hamstrings are great, calves are thick, chest is good. Like, it's hard to pick out a flaw with this guy. His back is like back is. He looks really good, man. Find some stage shots there. Yeah, there's a. See, it's full. not quite the same on stage, but still really no. impressive. He doesn't. I don't know what this weight is though. Like, is this two forty? Is this two thirty? Like, what is this? Like, what am I looking shape at? Shape is really fucking nice though. I yeah, know, he got right? great shape. I'm jealous. Yeah, I don't know what he weighs. Try and find an off-season pick, maybe where he'll say his weight. Like, yeah. look at the look at this vacuum. Like, well, I think he's doing classic as a pro, isn't he? I'm not sure. I mean, he's wearing posing trunks, like bodybuilding trunks. Well, I think he turned pro in bodybuilding, but I think he's switching. I could be completely off base here. I'm not sure. Who that? Horse MD. His name's Marcello, I think, or Marcello. Who that? Jay, look at this guy's legs. You know, look at the fucking size of these things. Yeah, I can't find a weight, but I'm sure somebody in the comments section will let me know. But even his, his back is good too, man. Like big boy. He's got look at the shape on this guy. Guy. Wow. Look at the fucking. I mean, that's good shape if that's like not filtered. <laughs> I'm trying to find better. There's a back shot. A little narrow. Yeah, not it's not super wide. Like I said, it's hard to like I can't get any like perspective on how big, like how what the weight is or go back. There's a picture with him saying with two other guys there above it. Top up, 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 up. Sorry. Where? Up left. Yeah, there. That's Cutler. I mean, he's pretty big. That's Regan there. Yeah. Yeah. Look at Regan. It's a young young Regan. It's a young Regan. Oh, wait, there. 117 kg at 23. So he's like what 250, 240 there? No, no, it's just it's just throwback Thursday though. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Times 2.2. Yeah, 255 in shape, in decent shape. So I mean he's a pretty big guy. <laughs> he looks taller too, because he was the same height as Regan there. Yeah. Anyway, so he must be pretty big. This guy's got a crazy physique. I just uh yeah. 
I just wanted to point it out because I came across it the other day and I was like, how come nobody's talking about this guy? Oh, no, and he it, is talking about all the time, man. This guy's super well known online. I've seen Wait, him how, like before. How many but followers I, does he have? Look at his following. He's probably got a million fucking followers. Well, the but is it mostly Brazilian people? Seven, Seven seventy eight. Like Nixon, about Nick has. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's pretty well known, man. I see him on these pages all the time. What is he competing in the IFBB? Yeah, this this muscle contest was a pro qualifier. So he just turned pro here. <laughs> Well, I'm super excited to see this guy. Fuck, man. I want to see hey, what he looks Justin, like standing Justin Pro in like December. What's his name? Marcello. Marcello? Ho- Horse MD on Instagram, but Marcello it's Marcello De Angelis. Uh, see if I can find a tagged photo of him somewhere. This guy looks good too. Is he, this guy? This guy's good, yeah. Yeah, he's thick. Oodles of muscle. Oh, you know who I just thought of? Um, what's his name? <laughs> Oh, uh, who's the guy that mean you were fucking around about Ian, the Iranian guy, Baruz? Oh yeah, B- Baruz, yeah, yeah. Is it B E H? Yeah, there he is, Baruz Tabani. Yeah, this guy's crazy. Posted this other photo. Where did that photo go that he just posted like a couple of these? Oh, wait, this, this isn't him. No, no, it's not him. No. It's a different guy. It's a different Baruz. Uh. Is it not B E? Is it B A? I have no idea. What if I just put ruse? Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Fuck's his name. You guys don't remember? Nobody remembers? Ooh. Oh, who are we looking up? What's his name? Wait, I have an idea. <laughs> What's his name? For oh, yeah, Milos coaches. Milos just posted him, I think. Yeah, this is the photo I was thinking of. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, it's Baruz. I don't know. Why oh, yeah, that was the guy, Baruz Tabani. Yeah, Why it was just look? a fan page. Click it though. Click it. This is the real page. There we go. Yeah, See, there you go. Two hundred eleven k. Is this like current? Is this two weeks ago? I think this is a guy to watch, man. Yeah, like this doesn't look impressive to me, but when I see him on stage, he's super impressive. That looks impressive to me. That that if I saw that, I wouldn't worry about that beating me, but. When I see him on stage, I'm like, no, this guy's fucking legit. When you see this, you're like, wait a minute. I mean, I think this is filtered, but regardless. I mean, either way. I mean, I saw that yeah. show fucking like skinless, you know? Yeah, I know. Uh, like, I Honestly, I could have seen him winning this show. Yeah. Oh, that's the guy who's good potential. That fucking Amir, Amir or whatever. Yeah, this yeah. guy. Amir, like fucking Amir, Amir. 24, 23 or something. Yeah, yeah. I think he's got more room to grow, though. I think he's going to take him more than one year to do it. Yeah, no, but I'm saying going yeah. forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, know, he showed yeah, huh? he can get crazy condition. His back obviously needs to come up in his quads and stuff. But they have gyno really bad? Yeah, he has a little bit of gyno. Yeah. I think 2022, I think Baruz is going to break out if he does a few, if he can get, if the, you know, crossing borders and stuff doesn't affect his, him. His quads need to come up. But I mean, crazy conditioning and shape. Well, I think it's between. <laughs> I think like, Look at that between, conditioning on that side shot. Sorry. No, you're good. It's fine. I think it's between um, Nick and Hunter. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're talking about the four, fourth and fifth place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, who knows? Brett can sneak up or not. I don't know. Um, that will be determined in six weeks. Yeah. How many weeks to the Arnold? Uh, how often do you see athletes online or in person that you're wowed by? And I've been lifting weights four years and enhanced coming up on two years, coming down from 300 pounds. Do you think I could be a good pro? what is that two questions it's two separate questions yeah so how what? often are we wowed by people online well we no. were wowed by that horse md guy five minutes ago yeah or like that russian kid that goes all over i think everyone's wowed with him you know yeah, who's the russian a, guy's a freak yeah you know what i'm talking about eh yeah what's his name again v something or is it oh Vito? Vito. Vito, yeah. Vito yeah nah. what do you mean nah shut up nick I, th- I think you wouldn't you wouldn't do super well in the pro league, but in his in his photos, he's fucking so impressive. Like look at this. Oh yeah, I, photos is freaky, man. I disagree, man. I think that's gonna do well wherever he stands on stage. Well, I mean, you might be right. I I but like go to a stage shot, you know. Yeah, yeah, how do we know how uh, how do we know how recent the stage shot is, right? Like this this looks he just like competed, it, I believe. He competed yeah. recently. Okay. I don't know how you can fake this. Like, is this photoshopped? Just go down, and it's different, though, you know? All right. He was accused of fucking with his photos. Yeah. I mean... On stage. Come on, just take it easy. 
Give me your shit. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. On stage. Look at that. Yeah, it's, that looks crazy. I mean, his conditioning is obviously not amazing, but he looks good. Yeah. Like, that's a lot of fucking muscle. And he I looks think he's like, pretty short, too, right? I was going to say he looks taller, but I could be wrong. Is he? I, I don't know if he's taller. Here's sure. him with some other dudes. See how tall he is? That's great video. He looks so young, what eh? What the fuck is this? What the fuck yeah, is this? Now I'm completely <laughs> lost. We've, we've gone down a rabbit hole here. Yeah, I, don't, I don't even know what to make of this. They're just some guys in a steam room together. It's not a big deal. Yeah, he's a little bit shorter, I guess. <laughs> um, There's some back shots, I guess. Legs are fucking stupid. Yeah, back legs are back, back could be a little thicker from that shot anyway. Yeah. But no, I mean, yeah, this guy's looks he's a he's like a cartoon character it's like one of those ones you see him online you're like what the fuck is this shit you know yeah <laughs> it'd be it'd be interesting to see he's impressive i'm trying to find more stage shots but i'd like to see him stand next to a guy like della rosa you know yes that i think would be a good matchup to really see like what, how good he is you know getting drunk with his fucking photos moving i know angles matter but this is crazy like yeah it's it's comic book shit it looks ridiculous yeah almost like seth Rose a little bit seth looks fucking crazy right now seth always looks fucking good though no like i mean like getting ready for a show crazy because he, he he'll never though no i don't think he will but it's like interesting to watch him just prove that he could i love seth. yeah I don't think any of us doubted that he could, you know? I know, but it's easy to say somebody could be awesome. And then when you actually see them and you're like, holy fuck, he could really win. Like this could win a 212 show. Oh, for sure. I mean, <clears throat> and this is probably doing like the minimals in terms of like eating and gear and like, you know? Yeah. I mean, to look that good when you don't <laughs> have his fucking legs from the side, dropping hamstrings, big quads. I mean, guy, guy, see, guy could, guy could understand this right now because guy's also retired. To look this good when you don't have a photo shoot or a guest posing or a fucking show, that's a lot of fucking dedication, man. Yeah. There's absolutely no reason for him to suffer this much if he's suffering. But I mean, to be in this kind of Wait, shape. Uh, what? Oh, you want to, to see the, the back, back shots? Uh, sorry. Yeah, but it's a, uh, we'll talk through it. Wait for it. 216 right now. I mean, he could easily be 205 to 208 on stage. Yeah. Because, I mean, he probably wouldn't lose a ton of weight necessarily, you know? No. No, because I don't like he, I don't even think he, he's just on TRT as far as I yeah, know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you put some little drugs back in, I think his weight would probably stay the same, you know? Yeah, and you just get harder. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, too. His tricep surgery went really well. His triceps look really good. Mine are fucked up. Like my my one surgery arm is way fucked up. His arms look like they came back to normal. He's got fucking lines as glutes. I know. This is what I mean. I watched this the other day. I was like, this is fucking crazy. Like everything's dry back here. There's a little bit, I could see like a little bit here. Still like, really good width, nice back. Yeah. Yeah. And as he gets leaner, that waist to come in, it'd look even crazier. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously a super impressive physique as it always has been. I just think it's, it's, uh, there's not a bodybuilding fan on the planet that wouldn't want to see him compete again, you know? <clears throat> no, and there's not, but I don't think there, what I was trying to get at is I don't think there's very many people that would go through the work he's going through post retirement. Yeah, po like without a, a goal at the end of the, the tunnel, you know? Uh, which four of you are willing to help me smoke one ounce at Bongathon? Oh my God. Guy? I'm going to go with Guy. <laughs> He said four of us. So me, guy, who else smokes a ton of pot? Don't we know. don't need anybody else, Ian. We'll be good. <laughs> Paul will go with you. Yeah, Paul. Paul Listen, will Paul. go. Paul will go with you. I don't think I could deal with Paul's corkiness. If he ordered the same coffee twice, I'd punch his teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> but Paul's, you order different coffee Paul's, twice, I'm going to fucking no, kill you. Paul's quirkiness drives me batshit, but it's what makes him fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, can you imagine Paul I hate the whole time? Hey, guys, what do you think? <laughs> Yeah. Who do you think could make the better comeback in 16 weeks? Jay Cutler, or Dennis James, Seth Ferrosi. Um, I'm going to say Jay Cutler. Yes. Uh, oh. Jay Cutler. Just because he's younger. Yeah, I think he'd look better. Yeah. Dennis still looks fucking super impressive, though. Yeah. 
Wait, De- I was thinking of Dennis James or Dennis Wolf. No, oh, Dennis, Dennis James. Hmm. Dennis has always looked fucking sick. I mean, that was going to be a hard one. That's a hard one. Because Dennis was doing the, the Masters Olympias like not that long ago, you know? Well, Dennis is like, isn't he 55 or something? 50 something? 52 or some shit, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. 50, 50 something. I mean, he looks 45 on a bad day, you know? Like, What's your honest opinion, objective opinion on what all went to, into Dexter's downsizing? Is it mainly diet related as he states, or is it drastic reduction in PDs, training intensity? Everything. So as somebody who's trying to get smaller, I'll tell you this. <coughs> I, I think if you keep some test in and you're eating five or six meals a day and you're training, it's absolutely not impossible, but it makes it very hard to lose weight. Shrink past yeah. the point. So I think for Dexter to do what he's done, he's probably reduced PEDs. He probably eats like three times a day and he's probably not training nearly the way he used to. Yeah. yeah. All the above. Yeah. Cause that's when I've noticed in the last three weeks I've reduced, I've been eating like three times a day, sometimes four. My training is more like stimulate, not failure. And I'm noticing my body start to like shrink. And I still, and this is not a shot at anyone, but you still probably train a lot harder than Dexter's training at this point, you know? Yeah. I mean, but it's, I think it's, I, th- I think you're right. And I think it's, um, how can I put it? It's to scale. Like yeah. when he was full-time he was bodybuilding. At front, yeah. You trained yeah. hard and you trained yeah. still hard. He yeah. trained moderate and strained a less moderate. Yeah. 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 Uh, f- with flex moving to open class, do you think his look matches up well with the other competitors? That's actually interesting, right? We talked Ooh. about flex. flex. flex That's actually weird. fucking over the weekend. He's a mutant. Kid's huge. Is he really? How does he look right now? He's like 240. He's huge. So this is interesting because we talk about like Nick and Hunter and fucking Curry. And like, we're forgetting Flex is in the mix now. Flex looks ridiculous. Hey, no. I don't mean to be a pessimist here, but and guy, you I love maybe- your I love your pessimistic attitude. I don't mean to be a pessimist, but hold on because here he comes. Yeah. Do, you, do you 100% believe that Flex will compete in the Open Olympia this year? What? That was a is Flex competing this year? Will he follow through is what he's saying. You think 100% he will fall through and be at the Olympia this year? Yes. Will we stand on stage with Flex? Yes. You're you're positive? Yes. Okay. I, I have a question. This is probably a stupid question. Does he have to requalify or does he get the invite because no. he's a seven-time fucking yes. Olympia? Once you've won, you're qualified for life. Yeah, okay. Yes. So, Nick, that's going to be tough for you. Nah, no word. Well, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that's an awesome thing man get to stand next to flex and like that's hey, fucking. i'm not fucking saying that's not awesome i'm saying i forgot that that's a major one that's gonna be throw a wrench in things of course it is you look exciting worried. you look worried nick no i got four people in front of me i gotta beat i'm not worried about it, it might be five though if flex steps on stage no it's it's gonna be none after 2022 <laughs> <laughs> So is Flex going to be putting out any photos or has he already? And I missed them. No, you know, he needs a little fucking tool when it comes to that stuff. He likes to hide away, right? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Oh, bro. Yeah, bro. Flex is going to be, <laughs> man, Flex is going to be interesting because Flex is like haughty, but even prettier to look at. Bro, let me tell you something. That kid was eating from the time he got here to the time he fucking left. That's he the fucking, that, you know what that's the most interesting thing dirty, about it. Dirty food or and he food. tells me that he doesn't have an appetite, but the fucking kid just <laughs> he was eating. Guy, the most interesting thing to me is that Flex has always had a governor on. Yeah, with a the always respect. they've always been like, don't get too big, don't get yeah. too, don't fucking leave the two twelve, and now they're Rains like, are off now, buddy. Yeah, and I'm I really interested to see what his genetics look like with just a year. I think of- I think he's gonna be fucking huge. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting, man. You said he weighs 240 right now? If not, maybe more. Big. Yeah. He wouldn't step on my scale because he's a baby. <laughs> Would you rather no, win? No than- bodybuilder steps on a four in scale. Come on. You only step on your own scale. <laughs> this like is true. Up. I'm not stepping on that shit. I don't know what it's going to say. I'm going to video um, stepping on it. Would you rather win Mr. the Mr. O once and never earn more than 50K a year? until you die or win multiple Arnold's, but never win a Mr. O and have a very comfortable income until you die. I'd rather, win the, Ar- I'd rather win the Arnold's. Arnold's. I'm going to go with the Arnold's. Yeah. 50K a year. What's that nonsense? Why do people get mad at me when I say Arnold's? Well, because it's the Arnold. Yeah, but I just say the Arnold's. Like, it's the what are you show. talking about? What, the, the question was multiple Arnold's. Yeah, so, but yeah. If, I say, if I say I'm going to the Arnold's, 
Okay, That's stupid. <laughs> stupid. You say that? Yeah, I've said that. You say I'm going to the Arnold's. Yeah. Okay, that's dumb. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to the Arnold. Will I see you at the Arnold? You guys are going to the Arnold? I've said it both. I've said it both ways. I just nobody says it again. like that. Nobody. Oh, shut you up. are by yourself. Are you going to- I don't give a shit. Fuck you. Going to the- long, I'm always on an island, <laughs> bitch. Are you going to the Olympias? That's not the same. <laughs> I'll see you at this year's Olympias, okay? Well, I'll, I'll see you in Vegas at the Olympias. Hey, I'll see you at the New York Pros this May. Yeah. Hey, I get it. New York Pros. Okay, oh my God. Are we done? No. Are we, not, are we done yet? Are we do the bro- the bro- hey, process. I'll see you on the next Bro Chats. Oh. Yeah. Bro Chats. <laughs> bros Chats. <laughs> I'm going to call this one Bros Chat. Yeah, Bros Chat. Bro, bro Chats. Um, okay. Good. Can we move on now? Sure. Yeah. Okay. We'll see if it comes back later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, best Quentin Tarantino movie? Uh, Reservoir Dogs. That's up there for sure. That's a good one. I like Django Unchained too. That's fucking I love awesome. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That was Never fucking real. I actually watched that like four or five fucking times. I love it so what much. Is it called? I don't think I ever saw that. Django Unchained with uh, Jamie Foxx. No. no. And we go to DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio, it's a good movie. Yeah. Watch, watch it tonight. It's fucking awesome. That's that was a good movie that I watched. Um, was it called Un? Uh, with fucking Sandra Bullock when she goes to jail. Uh, Unforgiven. Or- oh, on, uh, that's un- a good one, dude. Unforgettable. Unforgettable. Unforgiven. Unforgivable. Okay, so on Netflix, right? It's good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. a good one. Fucking really good. Okay, can I tell you? I that? actually like. Uh, I actually like the Kill Bill movies too for Quentin Tarantino movies. Those are all right. Yeah. Can I tell I you? I just how much saw I- Spider Man yesterday. That was really good. Good, I saw it. Yeah, Yellowstone has fucking got me hooked, and now they're yeah, done. I didn't start it yet. Oh the my most god! Recent season, the most Maybe I started ten minutes before black. bed. I know right? there's a couple. There's a couple shows in there that were there's a couple uh, episodes. I was like, eh, nothing but really happened to compared to the other seasons. Did you see the right. the spinoff they started in 1883? 1883 is a, a a prior. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a prequel. Yeah, yeah. What? I'll start Yellowstone ten minutes before I go to bed tonight. <laughs> Just watch ten minutes of the yeah, first episode. And then you know how I'll you. Make sure you turn the furnace on because it's cold out. Uh, <laughs> I'll make my I'll ma- I'll make the wrong coffee before I go to bed and, and turn my furnace on and then watch ten minutes of film. Paul's gonna be so bad at me, <laughs> motherfucker. Okay, um, call this one. Sorry, Paul. Yeah, I, have, I probably should. Uh, do you throw paper? I don't want to do toilet stuff. Just fuck. Throw we get paper. one. Do you Why throw paper? One? Do you throw paper toilet? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, he wrote what, it. Bro? I think he paper. wrote paper, paper, paper. T- t- what? He wrote it wrong. It's not my fault. He wrote it wrong. It's not my fucking Just assume fault. Assume what it's look, supposed to mean. Look, you fucking asshole. You can't I see can't. shit. <laughs> Tell us what it's supposed to mean. Okay, do you throw a toilet paper in the toilet or in the small bin next to the toilet? For what? What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, do you mean? For, uh, the only time I ever throw anything in the bin <laughs> is if I blow my nose or something. <laughs> I don't even do that. I blow my nose all the time, even if, there, even if I'm not pissing. And throw the tall ball because I'm an asshole. Mo- yeah. yeah, I do it all the time. But I, and sitting, I don't even think about it. But if I'm already sitting on the toilet and I blow my nose while I'm sitting, I'll throw it in the bin. No, I'll throw it between my legs. Yeah, I would stand <laughs> up and then throw it in the yeah, toilet. Just, just, just dump it right in front. And then you, front you, you, wipe, you wipe between your legs while you're at it. Nah, I yeah. just, I just fucking drop it in <laughs> like a little you, grain. Just reach, yeah. and dump. a little gooch wipe and toss her in. Yeah. It says me and my girlfriend were arguing. Well, it's not that big an argument. You throw the toilet paper in the fucking toilet. That's not. Yeah, where the, the fuck? fuck yeah, he, he, first he, of all, he didn't if, preface with what what he's doing with the toilet paper. It doesn't matter. Listen, if you wipe your ass and you don't throw it in the toilet, you're disgusting. Yeah. Like you're nasty. Nasty. Even nasty, if you run out of toilet bro. paper, nasty. if you run out of toilet paper and you use like kitchen paper towel to wipe your ass, you throw it in the fucking toilet, <laughs> even if you're gonna break your even- toilet. <laughs> I agree. Even if you're gonna break the toilet, just, you do the right thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pick up so much dog shit today. Oh my god, dude! I, I every my dog shit three times a day. Yeah, sometimes two. Most and you got two of them. I follow, I'm outside with them every time they shit with doggy bags, and I because there's not one turd on my property. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to put a bin in the backyard because then when they do, they yeah. run in it by accident when they're playing. It's a fucking yeah. Nightmare. But you know, you know what the nice thing is though, because in the cold weather, if he shits and you wait a day, then it's yeah. fucking hard, and you can pick it up like yeah. But yeah, I I only so if 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 that one of them have like mushy poop, what I'll do is I'll take a stick because I'm OCD with making <laughs> I pick up poop, and I'll jab a stick in the ground. 
so you know, I know where it is the next yeah. day. Oh, and then you go back. Yeah, and it's you need harder. to find in Ottawa. I have a company called Poop Squad. And they come every Friday and pick oh, up. We the- talked about this. There's a couple of them here, and I thought about yeah. it, but they come once worth a it. week. Yeah, but hundred percent worth it. Once a week's not enough, though. If you Trust get me, it, listen. It. If your your job I have is three dogs, man, I have three. If you don't clean up your own dog shit. I'm gonna kick you in the dick the next time I see you. Why Ian doesn't clean up his own dog shit? Who had get Poop Squad? You'll thank me. <laughs> Why is Ian allowed to be lazy? These guys are both. These guys are both lazier than I am. It's not lazy. It's a fish. Uh, Nick's not lazy. He like swapped out seventeen dogs in a row. <laughs> Nick doesn't leave. He, the didn't, couch. Nick didn't have a chance to clean up dog poop. <laughs> he gave away the dog before it shit. He's like, wait, it's gonna poop. Guy, you gotta get yeah. it out of here. Yeah. Gotta get a new one. No, Fuu, I get the poop squad though, man. It's so nice to come. You once think a week once a, you think? Yeah, you got three dogs. Once a week That's is three, enough. Man. Plenty. How big's your yard? It's pretty. My big. yard, my yard's not that big though. It's mostly pool and like cement. How how is it hard to clean up a little? Dude, I have two and a half acres. I just said I cleaned it today. I don't have a problem cleaning it. I'm just. If saying I had I two and a half acres, I probably would just fucking leave it and never pick it up. Bro, <laughs> 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 let me tell you something. I yeah. fertilize your yard on a mower. I, I ran over shit by accident. Uh, yeah. It like fucking blows it all over the place. Oh, and then yeah. it, it just smells like shit forever. No. I think you're right, guy. I'm going to put a bit in the back and I'm going to pick it up the day after. I have a five gallon pail at the bottom of my front steps towards the mulch yeah. that I pick up their shit and I throw it in the bucket. And then when the garbage goes out, I take the bucket, dump all the poop bags in the bucket or in the yeah. bag, tie it and it goes out the garbage. Good idea. Okay. That's it from now on. Uh, this guy's restricted. I wonder what his comment says. Probably says something about fuck poop. <laughs> What's the best present you've ever gifted someone? Oh, myself. <laughs> He's such an asshole. Oh, he didn't say accident. <laughs> he said yes. That would be totally uh, Nick answer. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Is it because is it like what's the most expensive thing or what's the greatest I don't thing? Mind. meaningful? What's thing. yours, guy? Go ahead. I when my grandmother died, I drew my portrait of my grandmother for my grandfather. You That's drew it? Crazy. How bad yeah, is I, that? I, 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 no, 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 I took art lessons for eight years. I could draw. Paint. Oh my god! Really? Yeah, I have I have stuff upstairs in my room from when I was a kid. That when I painted, he, when can, I, he can do that too, Fuad. I was just gonna say, I was just gonna say, add it to the resume. Oh, here we fucking go! I can draw. Again. I can fuck. I can shoot. I, I have. A, I have. I have all my I stuff can... downstairs. I got my charcoal. I got my go my get color it. Pencil. Go get it. I want to see something. What do you want to say? Well, I have something from when I was a kid. I don't have anything. I now. want to say, oh, okay. Now I don't have anything. I, no, I have. I, I said my parents oh. gave me paint the paintings I made when I was like, like in my fucking like. Listen, you said you um, could draw. I want to see something you've drawn so we can be the judge. I've, uh, I've, I definitely have something I painted. Did you trace it? I want to see something so you draw. So, you're my best. All right, here we go. There's a moment of truth. Don't fucking pull something out somebody else drew either. You're going to pull out a fucking. This moment. is old. This is old. You, oh, did that's not not paint, you did not paint that. Yes, I, I did. fucking did, bro. Are you kidding me? But did somebody draw it all for you and you just filled no, it in? No, I paint I, the, a picture in front of me with fucking paint, and I painted. Are you kidding Let me? Let me see that again. With fucking paint. Why are you bodybuilding, you asshole? You should be painting. I I love art. I draw a fucking doodle all the time. Man, guy can do everything. Why are you not married? What? Why aren't you married? You can do everything. <laughs> You really want Joe? Wait, do I still? Do I really? You're have so to you're get, so resourceful. Hold on, hold on. Do I still have, see the picture of myself? I was kidding. Do I still have to go get my fucking portfolio downstairs? No, I believe you. That's good enough. That one's that was a that was a classic. <clears throat> you should sell your art. No, bro, stop. That's silly. Ian, why do you think he's not married yet? He's so good at everything. <laughs> Too short. I don't know. <laughs> Only Ian would say that. <laughs> hey, Ann. Ian. Ann. Ann. Hey, Ann. Ann. Oh, we got matching bags now, eh? Hey, who had? Yeah. Oh, nice. Is that another wallet? Another no, purse? Wallet. We, we got matching bags now. Huge. Let me see the purse. It's the same one I have. You saw mine. I think I saw yours, yeah. <laughs> Identical. Is, are you guys competing? You're trying to see who can have the biggest purse? I didn't know it was the right one. I actually sent him out there. I got it. I go, is this the same one you got? Nice. How, that, how much does that cost bigger. you? Two grand? No, no, no. The Louis was two grand. This is 900 bucks. It wasn't that. Oh, that's it yeah. for a purse? Good. Yeah, I right. think when I bought mine in Vegas, yeah, it was like, like 90, 980 or something like that. The day I spend 900 bucks on a purse. Fuck that. I mean, my, my Louis wallet was fucking 900 just for a wallet. Yeah. Yeah, the wallets are expensive. F Ridiculous. that shit. I'm good. It's a big, big wallet. One? One that's like this big, but. The zipper one? 
No, Isn't it's it? uh, like the, it's the fold open one that's like big, you know. I have the fold open one. I have the big zipper one. Yeah. Isn't it interesting what people will fucking spend money on? Stupid. Because, it's so stupid. No, 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 no. I don't mean that. I mean it's interesting what I think is stupid. It, but I'll blow oh, my no, money, but out. I'll blow my money on something else that is like I think that's completely stupid. But at the end of the year, if I look at everything and I'm like, I gotta fucking waste some money, I'll buy some fucking not like that. I would ne- if I didn't if I needed to if I didn't need to spend money for write offs, I wouldn't buy ridiculous stuff like that. Yeah, that's I so buy nonsense. that and I find that's it so absolutely non- that's so nonsense. Am I oh I think it's ridiculous. Why don't you give it away to a fucking charity then? What? what fuck that? Get a Gucci bag, bro. I ain't that rich. <laughs> I hate that, Rich. I do enough free shit and give away enough free shit for charity. Yeah, I, that's not the point anyway. What I'm saying is like, you could spend a thousand dollars on a purse, and I'm like, I'm not spending a thousand dollars on a fucking purse. So but I'll go. But I'll go. But else. I'll go spend a thousand dollars on some new tires. And McDonald's. On yeah. some, <laughs> McDonald's. Yes. On McDonald's. Actually, on skip the dishes over two weeks, I probably burned through a thousand dollars. Yeah. No, but like, yeah, exactly. Like, it's just funny how priorities One, are different for everybody yeah everybody's priorities are different like, i have friends that go out to eat every day and i'm like that's insane i like they literally don't eat out somewhere every day i very fucking rarely that's what i'm saying so you think for people that's that crazy. Like, go out go out to the i'll, bar eat, my, I'll like, eat out once once, once once a week if i'm eating but shit. everybody has a justification right so like, if you ask those people they'd say well yeah i'm spending the money on food but it's also a social outing that's my life i, I enjoy spending the money out with friends uh, to you that's insane but you're like i'll buy a thousand dollar purse where to them it's probably like well, what the fuck so yeah, like it's, it's just funny. It's purse, Fuad. It's it's a it's a purse, guys. Uh, it's a, it's <laughs> a satchel, okay? Satchel shoulder it's bag. Satchel, okay? <laughs> it's a fucking purse. <laughs> I have one. Don't worry. It's okay. I I, I just much smaller. It's got than... Skittles in there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I carry my M and M's. No, from fucking Hangover when the guy stomps on his bag, he's like, "Hey, there's Skittles in there." I forget I that. Remember that? Are you guys <laughs> kidding? Yeah. That's me? what the Asian guy. I remember. But yes, yeah. why doesn't anybody ever get my one-liners from movies? Y'all suck. Well, I get them usually. They're usually fucking. That Will was a Ferrell. great one-liner. I, I can't remember the I fucking one-liner movies. You got the wrong, Doug. <laughs> uh, for Roman, no, he's not here. Uh, I tell you, I answer. I'll answer in veto of Roman. Okay, for Roman, I have a full knee replacement and have been hesitant about squatting. Given your hip replacement, if you were in my position, would you squat or would you rely on other exercises to build the strength and your mass? And I would mass? go right back day one, four hundred five. Ask the fucking grass. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, given <laughs> given Roman's hip replacement, he is squatting four hundred five right squatting. now. Yeah, he just didn't do it like all the first day. So just yeah, he didn't catch it on his fucking Work iPhone. Up Work up to it. Work up to it. Work up. Um, but that's also to say you do not absolutely need to barbell squat to build good legs. Oh, a lot of so people if are it's giving, if it's giving you discomfort, just don't do it. There's other things to do. A lot of people think hack squats are actually more beneficial for quad development. Anyway, my quads start to or when I switch drive over. way more with your quads. That's why I yeah. feel like I feel like my overall leg development got better when I started squatting more. So you want to hack squatting? No, actually squatting. Because I didn't usually, I, I didn't squat as much early in my career. And then when I start, when I turn pro, they're like, your legs aren't big enough. So I started squatting more, like every every workout. What I, what I was going to say was, if you're right, where you don't have to squat to have big legs, but I feel like you kind of need to squat. Or if, in order to, it's better to squat early in your career early. to get a good foundation of big legs, yeah. because then later on when you're older, the legs are there, you, then you can kind of back off the squat. Yeah, I'm just saying. Not everybody's yeah. like Nick, like, yeah. I'm not being a dick, but. Nick doesn't like to squat for whatever reasons, and he just has big legs. Not everybody's going to have that fucking benefit of having legs like that without squatting all the time. I'm just saying, like, as a general rule in my mind, for overall leg development, hamstrings, adductors, quads. A real barbell squat is yeah, king. A, a, yes. free, a free squat is the best. If you're once trying you, to target you quads to point, more. Yes. Once you get to yeah. a point where you're pinpointing weaknesses and strengths as you get more into your bodybuilding career, I think a hack squat can be a better alternative for quad development. Yes. But I, I will say this one negative thing came from squatting. So my legs got bigger overall everywhere. All if I did was say you got bigger head, hips. I'm, I'm hanging up. No, no, I'm serious. My ass got bigger and it yes. made me, it made me look more square. Cause yep. when I was early in my career, I had like small hips and a yeah. fucking smaller ass. And then the more I squatted, everything grew. So I'm I, gonna get over, I, gotta, I just I got get, I got overpowering glutes from squatting. And it, yeah, like, I gotta I, get a booty on me. I got yeah, I got a yeah. big butt. So yeah. you get the leg development, but you're gonna get some fucking glute, and then maybe your hips are gonna look thicker because of it. 
Yeah. So Nick, you didn't squat, right? Maybe when I was younger, I did. What about when you're older? Um, I'm a lot older. Was, yeah. that, was that a funny? Hey, makeup? how did you like that uh, pendulum squat? I saw the video today. Oh, that thing! Is that thing fucking heavy? Oh, I love it. Which one is Which it? One was it? The, That's the, the Paramount. Paramount. That's, That's what I have at my gym. Four plates on that is heavy as you. Do I was going to say because I... you have an Atlantis. No, no, you have the Atlantis. The Paramount. Oh, you're right. You're, you're right. you're right. You're right. I know. Dude. I've used it. So the Atlantis, I can do like six plates on. That's a good one too. Four or five Paramount plates on that's heavy. Fucking Atlantis. heavy, bro. Paramount's so, heavy. Paramount's I, I think heavy. I've done. I think I've done six on the Atlantis. The Paramount, I'm like fucking two or three, and I put really? like. A, a, yeah, it's, it's heavy, heavy as fuck, man. It's like it's it's the is only it thing. I, it where, is, is it where the load is on the machine? The machine itself, the sled is just fucking heavy, like heavy. Yeah. angle, like everything. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not necessarily less weight, but there's just the sleds heavy too. The machine oh, yeah. is just heavy. Yeah. Okay. I noticed, Nick, you had your feet up a little bit higher than I usually put mine, though. So I'm going to try that. I just, I don't hey, want to, yeah. I don't want a bigger ass. So I usually keep my feet a little lower on the pad. You bend, yeah. Yeah. But you can't, you obviously can't lose as much weight. Uh, we'll do one more and we'll go. Uh, Ian Valier. Hmm. touched on we'll it do one more let's make it single at the end yeah because we're not going to comment on it either i asked you do you want to host well, the show go ahead i think it's an go unfair ahead, ending. I, think, I think it's an unfair ending are you jealous are you jealous of me yeah maybe i want you know i want to hear the fucking question <laughs> ian, the answer ian, is yes ian touched on it in a recent chat episode about learning to flare your lats why do i feel like a douche my shit broke i guess he can't figure what? out how to flare his lats. Oh, well, you're fucking. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> one more just, question. One more. Just, we'll one more just question. lost that follower. <laughs> no, but for serious, does anyone have a good cue to open your lats? I'm not really good at posing cues. No. I have somebody. I, I have no. I have I no lats spread. I have one. Tell some. Have somebody physically put their hands in between your shoulder blades and pull and and. Follow your yeah, shoulders. Open out. it. Just open. fucking crazy. That that's that what I've done. Doesn't do you. anything. My client. It does. Oh, it does. No, it doesn't. Do <laughs> Useless. I agree with that. <laughs> hire, hire Kenny Wallach. He'll have some cue. You'll be. No, fine. no. I got one. I got one cue. If you take your fists and put them behind your back, like where your spine meets, like put them like this. You sound just, just as fucking stupid as guy. No, right? no. Listen to me for a second. I'm yeah. serious. Put your hands behind your backs, and and have them meet where your spine is, right? And then just take your elbows and roll them forward. And you'll You're feel your back all oh, because I cannot touch. That's the dumbest like that. thing. Okay, I thought mine was stupid. <laughs> You're I just way more, more dumb. You're like Kenny, right, pull Kenny your Wall, fucking like, shoulder blades. I've been po I posed with Kenny Walls in 2007. He's the fucking he's the the king of kings. These are fucking idiots. For especially for stuff like that, like cues to even just begin to pose. Uh, Kenny's the best. Like obviously, we're getting into advanced. Kenny's posing. really good. And routines, you know? and, like stuff like that. Artistry. How about you guys say Kenny guys? again? So somebody say Kenny. Kenny. Kenny? Do you know? <laughs> Kenny. Kenny. Kenny, Kenny. <laughs> Do you know how many people are going to watch this fucking podcast and at this point think of how stupid they are that they all just tried to touch their fucking fist to their back? <laughs> no, they're going to be like, oh, I, my lats, I could feel them. That's what or they're, they're going to get their buddy to fucking pry their back open. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> are you doing, bro? Fucking stop touching me. <laughs> all right, one uh, more. That's, that's neutral. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> it's neutral. <laughs> Do you wash your rice before cooking? No. No. Yes. You what? Think, what does that? I used to, and I got lazy. Are you kidding me? I used to, and I got lazy. Time. Time. No, you, you're you supposed wash, to. You're supposed to. Because it's like arsenic or some shit. Oh, what do you do? I used to wash your, your wash rice. your rice. Never in my life. No. You just yeah, take, you know, you like when it gets all milky and shit. You could, like no, I you wash my that. rice like for about two minutes. My rice is. What perfect. do you mean, like, wash your rice? Clean. You also wash your chicken, you fucking weirdo. You have to wash your oh. chicken when it comes in certain packages. He got big. Oh, no, you don't. You're cooking okay. it. That's the okay. point of cooking it. No, no. Sometimes when you get it in like... Uh, oh, you got no. headphones. The answer is no. You're wrong. No, that's you not, not true. ever wash chicken. That's not true. No, that's not true. That's not true. The, the supplier told me, dude. Yeah, you're dude. not... Why are you coming from a, I'm, not, I, I'm coming from a butcher. You, you're supposed to. Act if you get chicken in a pack from a supplier and it's like an airtight sure. pack and it's its own juices, you're supposed to throw it in a strainer and wash off that fucking juice before you. That's why it. when you when you open that when it's vacuum sealed, it has a fucking distinct scent to it. Almost smells kind of bad. 
Yeah, it's, but if you're going to cook it, it's going to kill all that anyways. Yeah, but you what, just like you, you when you get fish, you're supposed to clean it because fish could have fucking uh, worms in it. Sure. Okay. I need fish, yeah. so. I'm just but saying in, a, in some little light water rinse is going to fucking make a big difference, you know? Well, in some instances, I'm not saying all the time, like in some instances, it does help. I've never washed my chicken in my life. I've never had an issue. I didn't say you're going to die. Either. I'm just saying it's help. It's wash your Let's rice, people. Look. If you don't wash your rice, you're also not going to die, but it's just rice. healthier. You just you put it in the rice cooker and I just fucking wash it and then drain it. Well, like dump some water out. Wash you ever it get a, you have a thin, a thin strainer with like a really tight mesh. You do that so too. you put the water, put the rice in a bowl and then put water in it and then dump it in the fucking Nick, the you'll become a worse bodybuilder if you stop worrying start worrying about this nonsense don't listen to that yeah i don't do that <laughs> with all the rice you eat you're gonna die of arsenic poisoning one second you know, fucking arsenic get out of here get the probably i don't have it already who i was gonna prove that me and him are right and you're both fucking wrong i don't give a damn are you supposed s o me and me and uh, ian don't give a fuck I'm, I will never wash my rice in my life. Ever. You know what I'm your rice before podcast? cooking. Gives the surface starches on your rice somewhere to go besides the pot for best results. Uh, okay, wait. Oh, the starches. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. The starches. We're all going to die. Fucking idiot in your arsenic. It's fucking starches. Who cares? I never said anything about arsenic. I didn't say uh, arsenic. Remove any dirt and chemicals and bugs that might be present. Yeah, if I see If I see dirt and bugs on oh, my you're gonna see Because you're going to see the chemicals, right? I don't care about chemicals, bro. We take fucking steroids. We're bodybuilders. Oh, okay. Yeah, but if the rice comes from China, it could have the vid on it. Oh, my God. That's right. This is nonsense. You guys have just been confused. Your You're going to get Ricecron. Wise tale, you know? You're going to get right. Ricecron and fucking I agree. Ricecron. I agree. Never. All right. You wash vegetables. That's about it. Are we going to end on the washing of a rice? <laughs> Ian seems very combative. I'm just, I'm just trying to be aggressive, you know? Uh... <laughs> okay, we'll do one more. Let me see. I'm just gonna Nick blink. I don't know there. Okay, there we go. Uh, why can't guy ever be on time? Remember that one. Answer He's quick, too important. Guy. Huh? He's too important. Because I'm a late person. If you I'm were like in jail, to... if you were in jail and had to have a cellmate, who would you have? Who would you choose? And it has to be somebody from the podcast. Guy, like this, wait, like this one, this right now. No, everybody that we do the podcast. Anyone from I'm the podcast. guy. Why? Because you think I'm going to pick up after you, you lazy fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you think he's going to wash his rice for him? You know. Wait, yeah, I got to make I got to make my, my beard longer. One second. You're going to clean my chicken. Yeah, you wash his well, chicken. The laziest rice. one. No, I'm not. Ian and Nick are both lazier than I am. Who? What? Ian, yeah. sleep, Ian sleeps right? like 15 hours a day, and Nick already Literally. admitted that he so doesn't I, leave the couch. This is how my brain Except takes. for to work out and eat. Roman takes the long I'm on the couch right now. How long <laughs> am I in jail for? <laughs> how long are we Minimum in jail? of a year. At least a year. At least We're a year. We're a year. So the, the way I think about it, Fuad's the laziest. So Roman will try and bang you. No, Roman... <laughs> Roman, Roman will try and bang you for sure. Roman takes forever to fucking say a sentence. So I feel like his stories would be extremely long, which would take up a lot of time in a jail cell. <laughs> That's a good thing, though. I think Ann would go completely fucking ballistic crazy in a jail cell. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be around I agree. if he was in it. So I, I don't, be, shit, I don't yeah. want to be near the Tasmanian devil when that goes on. Um, Brad, I, I feel like Brad, I feel like would steal my food because he eats like a maniac. Possibly. Um. I would be afraid Ben so horny try to bang me. Roman's, we, trying, Roman's trying to bang you for sure. I feel like all the other guys would be trying to bang Nick because he's the good looking guy. So I don't want to be in a cell with him. So I feel like by default and by sense of humor, I'd go with James. I'm picking James too. Or Paul. Paul, I would kill. <laughs> I'd go with I go Paul. Paul. I think Paul and I would have a good time together in jail, you know? I'm with Paul 100%, like fucking 90% of my life anyway. So Paul would try to change his food meal every day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd go with Paul or Ben, I think. Not Cause... James, huh? James would be interesting conversation. That's yeah, why I think have... James could have some good, deep, like, revelations in jail but together. Sometimes you know? James, but sometimes James doesn't feel like talking. And then I'm like, okay, I got no... Yeah, but neither do I. So that's good. You want someone that doesn't always need to talk. Yeah, but yeah. Like when you want to be quiet, there's nothing worse than someone that's like always talking to you like, bro, shut the fuck up. James knows when to be quiet, you know? Yeah. Yeah. James is a good seller. 
And he's also big. Like, he's got your back. Like, I trust and I you. feel like James would actually make light of being in jail. He'd be the one in yeah. jail that would make light of being in jail somehow. Hi, brother. It's all right. <laughs> and me and James are like two big fucking white guys. We would just, like, run train in jail together, you know? Wait, what? Like, just fucking, like, fuck people up in jail, you know? Run train. Yeah, you're running train. Also, I, I fucking... essentially, but, I mean, maybe if we get bored enough, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't come into my cell. Oh, when you got when you're when you're big and got like in jail, that's like that's street cred, you know. When you're big with a beard in jail, that kind of means like that where you're like a, a lot of the big like jack yeah, bear, like guys, you're gay guys. guys. They're called like yeah. polar bears or something, right? Bears, we bears, the first yeah. ones getting our buttholes attacked. Yeah. He's still going. This kid. He's got a problem. He's got a problem being right. <laughs> I'm not worried. Should I worry? <laughs> Click the top one. Should I worry about arsenic and rice? No, I'm just proving a point. Oh, okay. wait, can you just click it? Just click it. Just click it. Just click, click, click. One, click one. He probably already did. Man, he probably already did. Which is why was... Yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> rice in every day in considerable amounts. We're all fucked. That's oh, it. you're We're... fucking done. Okay. I just, okay. Thank you. I just knew I wasn't fucking crazy. I just want to make sure. That's why, Nick, that's why you stare at the screen. Arsenic poisoning, bro. Yeah, you yeah. get arsenic poisoning every day. Yeah. I wonder if that actually, no, but serious, in, in all seriousness, I heard that. I barely, I barely ever wash my rice. I did for, there was a period of time where I did it like every day for a year. And then I kind of stopped. But I actually wonder what that is doing. I should do like a blood test to see if I can test arsenic, like after like a full off season and see how high my. No, no, you know? I, I'm not. I know we're joking around, but I'm being dead serious. I wonder how much problem. Too. I wonder how much of a problem that actually is. Because we eat a ton of rice and I barely ever wash my rice. Yeah, I eat a lot of rice. Yeah, wash it, bro. I did for a long time. Yeah. I just got fucking lazy. I'm like, what is it really doing? Who cares? Yeah, I'm like, fuck but, yours, Nick. That's yeah. how I feel. Anyways, back to the jail. I would probably go with Paul just because we're familiar. Yeah, Paul's I've a pretty slept, good. Job. I've slept in the bed, same bed with the guy. I know he's not gonna try and bang me. He's friendly. Nick, I didn't pick you because you were pretty. That's the reason why I didn't pick you. Yeah, that's kind of rude. Eh? Nick, Nick picked guy immediately. And guy didn't pick Nick back. That's kind of rude. But the reason why I picked Nick wasn't because I wouldn't fare well with Nick. Yeah, but Nick would be better for you because all the guys would be trying to bang Nick and not bang you. I don't you, want you'd any be other the ugly penis. cellmate. I wouldn't want another penis in the jail cell. That's true. But what <laughs> I don't want was... other penises trying to enter. Yeah, but what if it stopped the penises from trying to bang you? I don't want to watch my fucking friend take. Have to watch. They'll be on the bottom bunk. You'll be on the top bunk. You won't see anything. I just want to hear. Why do I get out? Who, I automatically get the fucking Wait, top bunk. You also make, you're now making. I got to climb. I'm the one with the bad. You're going to you're gonna put Nick on the top bunk. He's fucking twice your size. If he's this gonna is going to break, bro. Wait, do you realize what you're saying? No, you're going under the assumption that Nick is fucking dudes in jail. Well, no, no that's what guy, guy said. Yeah, oh. I'm saying the guys would be trying to get to Nick because he's so pretty. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying that would spare a guy. Then he wouldn't get laid. Like nobody would bang him. Yeah, because I want a jail cell I, it, it hurt in the fucking fetal position, scared, <laughs> listening to the fucking dick go like this while Nick's getting smashed underneath. No, I want to know why I'm getting fucked so much. Yeah. <laughs> like, what, what the Nick, fuck's going on here? Nick's big enough, man. He's going to be yeah, cool in jail. You're good. Could defend why am himself. I the one getting fucking deep? Because yeah, you're, pretty, defend- you're pretty. If you're no. big, yeah, man, but, you want to um, like join a gang, you get some tattoos, join a gang, you're good, man. Yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine Nick, if one of us ended up in jail and all of a sudden this is on a fucking TV? Yeah, jail cell. I'm you just gotta like, join oh. some kind of fucking skinhead gang or something, and you're just you're golden, you know. What are you talking about, skinhead gang? Well, I don't know. Yeah, like this. <laughs> I just doesn't even need to do anything. He's good. <laughs> I just show up. Yeah, guy, you're so fucked, man. They welcome huh? it in with open arms, you know. What'd you say? Right, I gotta eat. I said you're fucked. Okay, <laughs> go eat, Ian. Uh, yeah. I love you guys. I love, I love you. you. Oh, I love you, buddy. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.